I have a thing for big, scary monsters. <laughs>
Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm having a good time. Just figured we'd come start a little of the stream happening. Day eight. I never thought we'd get here, and here we are. And it's so late, we might end up having to go into day nine, depending on what happens. But yeah. It's been incredible, and I've been very grateful to all the people that have come in and supporting, and just, just being there and being fun to hang out with. Y'all are wonderful, and I appreciate all of you. I think today we're going to start with some reading from The King in Yellow. Just do a chapter, give people the opportunity to, to come in and uh, redeem more if they want, or just get settled in ready for a stream. Alright. Okay. Hopefully this audio doesn't get too loud over time. This is Act 2 from the yellow sign. The next morning, Thomas, the bellboy, brought me to the Herald in a bit of news. The church next door had been sold. I thanked heaven for it. Not that being a Catholic I had any repugnance for the congregation next door, but because my nerves were shattered by a blatant ex exhorter, whose every word echoed through the aisle of the church as if it had been my own rooms, and who insisted on his R's with a nasal persistence, which revolted my every instinct. Then, too, there was a fiend in human shape, an organist who reeled off some of the grand old hymns with an interpretation of his own, and I longed for the blood of a creature who could play that doxology with an amendment of minor chords, which one hears only in a quartet of very young undergraduates. I believed the minister was a good man, but when he bellowed, Am I the Lord? said unto Moses, The Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. My wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword. I wondered how many centuries of purgatory it would take to atone for such a sin. Who bought the property? I asked Thomas. Nobody that I know, sir. They do say the gent what owns this here Hamilton Flats was looking at it. He might be a building more studios. I walked to the window. The young man with the unhealthy face stood by the churchyard gate, and at the mere sight of him the same overwhelming repugnance took possession of me. By the way, Thomas, I said, who is that fellow down there? Thomas sniffed. That there worm, sir? Air night watchman of the church, sir. He makes me tired of sitting all night with them steps and looking at you insulting like. I'd have punched his head, sir. Big pardon, sir. Go on, Thomas. One night, a coming home with Airy, the other English boy, I see him a sitting there on, the, on them steps. We had Molly and Jen with us, sir, the two girls on the tray service. And he looks so insulting at us that I sit up and says, What are you looking at, you fat slug? Beg pardon, sir, but that's how I says, sir. And then he don't say nothing. And I says, Come out and I'll punch you up pudding Ed. Then I opens the gate and then goes. But he don't say nothing. Only he looks insulting like. Then I it's in one. But uh, his head was that cold and mushy as it's sticking if you touch him. What did he do then, I ask curiously. Im? Nothing. And you, Thomas? The young fellow flushed with embarrassment and smiled uneasily. Mrs. Scott, sir, I ain't no coward, and I can't make it out all the way I run. I was in the fifth Lawrence, sir, sir. Bugler at Telekeper, and was shot by the whales. You don't mean to say you ran away? Yes, sir, I run. Why? That's just what I want to know, sir. I grabbed Molly and run, and the rest was as frightened as I. But what were they frightened at? Thomas refused to answer for a while, but now my curiosity was aroused by the repulsive young man below, and I pressed him. Three years' sojourn in America had not only modified Thomas's cockney dialect, but had given him the American sphere of ridicule. You won't believe me, Mr. Scott, sir? Yes, I will. You will laugh at me, sir. Nonsense, he hesitated. Well, sir, it's God truth that when I hit him, he grabbed me wrist, sir, and when I twisted his soft, mushy fist, one of his fingers come off of me, and 
The utter loathing and horror of Thomas's face must have been reflected by my own, for he added, It's awful, and now when I see him just go away, he makes me ill. When Thomas had gone, I went to the window. The man stood beside the church railing with both hands on the gate, but I hastily retreated to my easel again, sickened and horrified, for I saw the middle finger of this right hand was missing. At nine o'clock, Tessie appeared and vanished behind the screen with a merry good morning, Mr. Scott. When she had reappeared and taken her pose upon the model stand, I started a new canvas. Much to her delight, she remained silent as long as I was on the drawing, but as soon as she scraped with the charcoal ceased and I took up my fixative, she began to chatter. Oh, I had such a lovely time last night. We went to Tony Pastor's. Who are we? I demanded. Oh, Maggie, you know, Mr. White's model, and Pinky McCormick. We call her Pinky because she's got that beautiful red hair you artists like so much, and Lizzie Burke. I sent a shower of spray from the fixative over to the canvas and said, Well, go on. We saw Kelly and Baby Barnes, the skirt dancer, and all the rest. I made a mash. Then you have gone back to me, Tessie? She laughed and shook her head. He's Lizzie Burke's brother, Ed. He's a perfect gentleman. I felt constrained to give her some par parental advice concerning mashing, which she took with a bright smile. Oh, I can take care of a strange mash, she said, examining her chewing gum. But Ed is different. Lizzie is my best friend. Then she related how Ed had come back from the stocking mill in Lowell, Massachusetts, to find her and Lizzie grown up, and what an accomplished young man he was, and how he thought nothing of squandering half a dollar for ice cream and oysters to celebrate his entry as clerk into the woolen department of Macy's. Before she finished, I began to paint, and she returned, resumed the pose, smiling and chattering like a sparrow. By noon I had the study fairly well rubbed in, and Tessie came to look at it. "'That's better,' she said. I thought so, too, and ate my lunch with a satisfied feeling that all was going well. Tessie spread her lunch on a drawing table opposite me, and we drank our claret from the same bottle and lighted our cigarettes from the same match. It was very much attached to Jessie. I had watched her shoot up into a slender but exquisitely formed woman from a frail, awkward child. She had posed for me during the last three years, and among all my models she was my favorite. It would have troubled me very much indeed had she become tough or fly, as the phrase goes, but I never noticed any deterioration of her manner and felt at heart that she was all right. She and I never discussed morals at all, and I had no intention of doing so, partly because I had none myself, and partly because I knew she would do what she liked in spite of me. Still, I hoped she would steer clear of complications, because I wished her well, and then also I had a selfish desire to retain the best model I had. I knew that mashing, as she ter termed it, had no significance with the girls like Tessie. and that such things in America did not resemble the least the same things in Paris. Yet having lived with my eyes open, I also knew that no somebody would take Tessie away some day, and in one manner or another, and though I professed to myself that marriage was nonsense, I sincerely hoped that, in this case, there would be a priest at the end of the vista. I am a Catholic. When I listen to high mass, when I sign myself, I feel that everything, including myself, is more cheerful. And when I confess, it does me good. A man who lives as much alone as I do must confess to somebody. Then again, Sylvia was Catholic, and it was reason enough for me. But I was speaking of Tessie, which is very different. Tessie also was Catholic, and much more devout than I. So taking it all in all, I had little fear for my pretty model until she should fall in love. But then I knew that fate alone would decide her future for her, and I prayed inwardly that fate would keep her away from men like me and throw her into path and throw into her path nothing but Ed Burke's and Jimmy McCormick's, bless her sweet face. Tessie sat, blowing rings of smoke up to the ceiling and tinkling the ice in her tumbler. Do you know that I also had a dream last night, I observed? Not about that man, she laughed. Exactly. A dream similar to yours, only much worse. I was foolish and thoughtless of me to say this, but you know how little track that average painter has. I must have fallen asleep about ten o'clock, I continued. And after a while I dreamt that I woke. I awoke. So plainly did I hear the midnight bells, the wind in the tree branches, and the whistle of steamers from the bay, that even now I can scarcely believe I was not awake. I seemed to be lying in a box which had a glass cover. Dimly I saw the street lamps as I passed. For I must tell you, Tessie, the box in which I reclined appeared to lie in a cushioned wagon which jolted me over a stony pavement. After a while I became impatient and tried to move, but the box was too narrow. My hands were crossed over my breast, so I could not raise them to help myself. I listened and then tried to call. My voice was gone. I could hear the trample of the horses attached to the wagon, and even the breathing of the driver. 
Then another sound broke upon my ears like the raising of a window sash. I managed to turn my head a little and I found I could look. Not only through the glass cover of my box, but also through the glass panes in the side of the covered vehicle. I saw houses, empty and silent, with neither light nor life about any of them except one. In that house a window was open on the first floor, and a figure all in white stood looking down into the street. It was you. Tessie had turned her face away from me, and I leaned on the table with her elbow. I could see your face, I resumed, and it seemed to me to be very sorrowful. Then, when we passed on and turned into a narrow black lane, presently the horses stopped. I waited and waited, closing my eyes with fear and impatience. But all that was si but all was silent at, as the grave. After what seemed to me hours, I began to feel uncomfortable. A sense that somebody was close to me made, close my, made me unclose my eyes. And then I saw the white face of the hearse driver looking at me through the coffin lid. A sob from Tessie interrupted me. She was trembling like a leaf. I saw I had made an ass of myself and attempted to repair the damage. Why, Tess, I said. I only told you this to show you what influence your story might have on another person's dreams. You don't suppose I really lay in a coffin, do you? What are you trembling for? Don't you see that your dream and my unreasonable dislike for that offensive watchman of the church simply set my brain working as soon as I fell asleep? She laid her head between her arms and sobbed as if her heart would break. What a, pres pres what a precious triple donkey I had made of myself. But I was about to break my record. I went over and put my arm around her. Tessie, dear, forgive me, I said. I had no business to frighten you with such nonsense. You are too sensible a girl, too good a Catholic to believe in dreams. Her hand tightened on mine and her head fell back upon my shoulder. But she still trembled and I petted her and comforted her. Come, Tess, open your eyes and smile. Her eyes opened, and with a slow, languid movement, and met mine, but her expression was so queer that I hastened to reassure her again. It's all humbug, Tessie. You surely are not afraid that any harm will come to you because of that. No, she said, but her scarlet lips quivered. Then what's the matter? Are you afraid? Yes, not for myself. For me, then, I demanded gaily. For you, she murmured in a voice almost inaudible. I, I care for you. At first I started to laugh, but when I understood her, a shock passed through me, and I sat like one turned to stone. This was the crowing of a bit of idiocy I had committed. During the moment which elapsed between her reply and my answer, I thought of a thousand responses to that innocent confession. I could pass it by with a laugh. I could misunderstand her and assure her as to my health. I could simply point out that it was impossible she could love me, but my reply was quicker than, any th than my thoughts. And I might think and think and think now when it was too late, for I had kissed her on the mouth. That evening I took my usual walk in Western Park, pondering over the occurrences of the day. I was thoroughly committed. There was no blackout now. There was no backout now, and I started the future straight in the face. It was not good, not even scrupulous, but I had no idea of deceiving either myself or Tressie. The one passion of my life lay buried in the sunlit forest of Brittany. Was it buried forever? Hope cried no. For three years I had been listening to the voice of Hope, and for three years I had waited for a footstep on my threshold. Had Sylvia forgotten? No, I cried. Hope. I said that I was no good. That That is true. But still, I was not exactly a comic opera villain. I had led an easy-going, reckless life, taking what invited me of pleasure deploring and sometimes bitterly regretting consequences. And one thing alone, except my painting, was I serious, and that was something which lay hidden if not lost in the Breton forests. It was too late for me to get regret what we had occurred during the day. Whatever it had been, pity, a sudden tenderness for sorrow, or the more brutal instincts of gratified vanity. It was all the same now, and unless I wished to bruise an innocent heart, my path lay marked before me. The fire and strength, the depth of passion of a love which I had never even suspected, with all my imagined experience in the world, left me no alternative but to respond or send her away. Whether because I am so cowardly about giving pain to others, or whether it was that I have little of the gloomy Puritan in me, I do not know but I shrank from disc disclaiming responsibility for that thoughtless kiss. 
and in fact had no time to do so before the gates of her heart opened and the flood poured forth. Others, who habitually do their duty and find a soul and satisfaction in making themselves and everybody else happy, might have withstood it. I did not. I dared not. After the storm had abated, I did tell her that she might better have loved Ed Burke and worn a plain gold ring, but she would not hear of it, and I thought perhaps as long as she had decided to love somebody she could not marry, it had better be me. I, at least, could treat her with an intelligent affection, and whenever she became tired of her infatuation she could go none for the worse for it, for I was decided on that point, although I knew how hard it would be. I remembered the usual termination of platonic liaisons, and the thought how disgusted I had been whenever I heard of one. I knew I was undertaking a great deal for so unscrupulous a man as I was. And I dreamed of the future, but never for one moment did I doubt that she was safe with me. Had it been anybody but Tessie, I should not have bothered in my head about scruples, for it did not occur to me to sacrifice Tessie as I would have sacrificed a woman of the world. I looked the future squarely in the face and saw that several probable endings to the affair she would either tire of the whole thing or become so unhappy that I should have either to marry her or go away. If I married her, we would be unhappy, I with a wife unsuited to me, and she with a husband unsuited for any woman, for my past life could scarcely entitle me to marry. If I went away, she might either fall ill, recover and marry some Eddie Burke, or she might recklessly or deliberately go and do something foolish. On the other hand, if she tr tired of me, then her whole life would be before her, and beautiful vistas of Eddie Burke's and marriages, rings, and twins, and Harlem flats, and heaven knows what. As I strolled along through the trees of the Washington Arch, I decided that she should find a substantial friend in me, anyway, and the future could take care of itself. Then I went into the house and put my evening dress, for the little faintly perfumed note on my dresser said, Have a cab at the stage door at eleven, and the note was signed, Edith Carmichael, Metropolitan Theater. I took supper that night, or rather, we took supper, Miss Carmichael and I, at Solari's. At the dawn was just beginning to gild the cross on the memorial church as I entered Washington Square after leaving Edith at the Burns Brunswick. There was not a soul in the park as I passed along the trees and took to walk which leads from the Garibaldi statue to the Hamilton apartment house, but as I passed the churchyard I saw a figure sitting on the stone steps. In spite of myself a chill crept over me at the sight of the white puffy face, and I hastened to pass. Then he said something which might have been addressed to me, or might merely have been a mutter to himself, but a sudden furious anger flamed up within me that such a creature should address me, for an instant I felt the like wheeling about and smashing my stick over his head. But I walked on, and entering the Hamilton went to my apartment. For some time I tossed about the bed trying to get the sound of his voice out of my ears, but could not. I filled my head with that muttering sound like thick oily smoke from a fat rendering vat or an odor of noisome decay as I lay and tossed about. The voice in my ears seemed more distinct, and I began to understand the words he had muttered. They came to me slowly as if I had forgotten them, and at last I could make out some sense of the sounds. It was this. Have you found the yellow sign? Have you found the yellow sign? Have you found the yellow sign? I was furious. What did he mean by that? When the curse upon him and his eye rolled over and went to sleep. But when I woke later I took pale and haggard, for I had dreamed the dream of the night before, and it troubled me more than I cared to think. I dressed and went down into my studio. Tessie sat by the window, but as I came in she rose and put both arms around my neck for an innocent kiss. She looked so sweet and dainty that I kissed her again and then sat down before the easel. Hello, where's the study I began yesterday, I asked. Tessie looked conscious, but did not answer. I began to hunt among the piles of canvases, saying, Hurry up, Tess, and get ready. We must take advantage of the morning light. When at last I gave up the search among the other canvases and turned to look around the room for the missing study, I noticed Tessie standing by the screen with her clothes still on. What's the matter, I asked. Don't you feel well? Yes. Then hurry. Do you want me to pose as... As I have always posed? Then I understood. Here was a new complication. I had lost, of course, the best nude model I had ever seen. 
I looked at Tessie, her face was scarlet. Alas, alas, we had eaten of the tree of knowledge, and Eden and native innocence were dreams of the past. I mean for her. I suppose she noticed a disappointment on my face, for she said, I will pose if you wish. The study is behind the screen here where I put it. No, I said, we will begin something new, and I went into my wardrobe and picked out a Moorish costume which fairly blazed with tinsel. It was a genuine costume, and Tessie retired to the screen with it enchanted. When she came forth again, I was astonished. Her long black hair was bound above her forehead with a circle of turquoises at the ends curled about her glittering girdle. Her feet were encased in the embroidered pointed slippers in the skirt of her costume, curiously wrought with aberesques in silver felt her ankles the deep metallic blue vest embroidered with silver and the short me- moresque jacket spangled and spewn with turquoises become became her wonderfully she came up to me and held up her face smiling i slipped my hand into my pocket and drawing out a gold chain with a cross attached dropped it over her head it's yours tessie mine she faltered yours now go and pose then, with a radiant smile, she ran behind the screen and presently reappeared with the little box on which she had writ- was written my name. I had intended to give it to you when I went home tonight, she said, but I can't wait now. I opened the box. On the pink cotton inside lay a clasp of black onyx, on which was inlaid a curious symbol or letter in gold. It was neither Arabic nor Chinese, nor, as I found afterwards, did it belong to any human script. It's all I had to give you for a keepsake, she said timidly. I was annoyed, but I told her how much I should prize it, and promised to wear it always. She fastened it to my coat beneath the lapel. How foolish, Tess, to go and buy me such a beautiful thing as this, I said. I did not buy it, she laughed. Where did you get it? Then she told me how she had found it one day while coming from the aquarium in in the battery, how she had advertised it and watched the papers, but at last gave up all hopes of finding the owner. That was last winter, she said, the very day I had the first horrid dream about the hearse. I remembered my dream of the previous night, but had said nothing, and presently my charcoal was flying over a new canvas, and Tessie stood motionless on the model stand. And that ends Act 2. Thank you. Still the occasional trip up, but I think that's fine. Okay, that's a good start. Eight and a half hours left on the clock. Okay. Let's start with some more 20 minutes till dawn, I guess. probably keep this playlist going for a bit. Okay, so we beat it with Luna. That's a pretty good one. Tempted to try Raven again.
I updated my stream title. Grenade launcher. Let's see. The flame cannon might be pretty effective for spreading curse. So the bat gun. Get the flame cannon. I was enjoying the flame cannon when I was using it. Both gun could be interesting. Last cannon's interesting as well. Wild magic sounds nice. I'm going to finish up mysticism here. Ooh, dedication is interesting. Interesting. Get some wild magic though. And okay, Let's see how this goes. Leads have more HP. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Game sounds a little bit loud. Start with dodge, that seems good. Oh, uh, lag snags. Uh, it's not drop frames, it's network more network issues. change my bitrate.
don't know if it'll apply, but I'm lowering my bitrate a little bit to see if that helps. Thanks for letting me know. Comcast is trash. Com trash. Yeah. It's just a red bar, unfortunately. Just, we're just going to have to hope that it'll fix itself. There's unfortunately not a whole lot I can do on my end. Just completely a red bar. Zero drop frames, though. At least according to OBS. Whatever that means. Well, apologies for the poor uh, stream performance. Yeah, I hope so. I was doing it the other day, it was just a similar problem and it just kind of went away on its own. This is not my life. There's just a single thing that I can recognize. It's not my life. Hey, if it's brand, thanks for the lurk. Good to see ya. A fun bonus for anybody that watches the YouTube without this music. I guess the, the YouTube will have this music, won't it? Just going all in a dodge. Okay. dodge and it didn't avoid my first hit. Oh. 
Purple shot. my hey garpg welcome yeah a little bit i mean you know we all have those cousins we don't like apparently i'm the cousin nobody likes down just a touch. That's better. Curse damage based on hmm. curse damage based on your bullet. I don't know.
Ahoy! Hello, Jackie. Welcome in. How you doing today? Oh my. Oh my. Ah! We have, we have God dodge. Oh my god. Oh, we died. Tanner, I just got home from school, about to make dinner. Mmm, what you making? It's been so nice having you, ha having you hanging out with us lately. It's been a lot of fun. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, not sure what else. Ooh, that sounds good. Could you make me a plate, darling? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Rapidfire, that seems good. Yeah, I thought it'd be good for everyone to know. I'm trying to figure this out for this character though, because some of these characters is like curse is the thing that's in the game for sure, but on the other hand, I'm now making it so that my bullets do what the bird does. And so am I kind of making the bird redundant? Should I be doing other focuses? I'm not sure. fun hanging out with everybody. It's been a really good week. Also, I don't know uh, what happened, but I lost two followers between getting 200 followers and some other time last night. Like, I got, I got some pity follows to hit the number and then people unfollowed again. It's really strange. So we'll just have to hit 200 followers again. 
It's definitely possible. We're right there. would happen yeah I agree I think they should definitely be, do music together and I'm curious if they haven't and we just don't know about it I mean, surely not but it's a fun thought dang it I'm gonna die Did that hit me? Oh, that's rude. We'll get there eventually. Sure, do a little bit of gun stuff. Increase our gun performance.
Ah, dang it. Ah. Thought I could make that. I'm still just trying to figure out builds that work in this game that aren't, you know, just summons. I definitely like all the dodge stuff I was getting earlier, but unfortunately, extra dodge doesn't just help you kill enemies, so you get overwhelmed and then the hits go through. I don't think this weapon does well with bullet damage, really. Go try and do lightning with her.
Get away from me. So I should worry about damage a little bit first. Movement speed is pretty important, but... I'm getting the getting the itch to play more Risk of Rain. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do that just now, but it's definitely probably going to happen. I am definitely enjoying this also. Commando! Rain is always a good time. My favorite risk rain phrase is what wait, what time what what killed me? Yeah, exactly. We've been having a lot of fun with it. We're still not even on like We're still having trouble with the um like medium difficulty. So we're still we're still working on it. We're still getting more comfortable with it. I feel like the character that I like the most is just so fragile. I should probably start working more on defensive uh, uh, items and stuff. But I want to do more damage! So many enemies. <laughs> Hey Skitter, how's it going, friend? It's so good to see ya. Ahoy! Ahoy. I'm good, I'm good. Just uh, messing around with, with this game, it's pretty fun. Did some reading a little bit earlier, which was nice. My goodness. Come on. Ooh, barely dodged. Curse is good. Intense burn is also good. 
Hell yeah. The pinned message explains the soundtrack. Woo! That was rude. Very rude. Not getting any of the uh, options for upgrades that I want in this run, unfortunately. So I'm just going to fucking die. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Okay. The sound check was so good. fucking character did I pick? Is this the lightning one? Oh yeah, lightning one. Okay. The reload knockback is interesting. I feel like they should have, they might have. I'm not sure personally if they have or not, but it would be good to find out. Feels like it makes sense that they would have, which is why it's such a good pick for Wonderland soundtrack. Oh, I looked away. Come oh, on, give me lightning strikes on attack, please.
yeah. That is pretty close, but not quite the same. I can't recall if Atticus Ross was an inspiration on Trent Reznor or if Trent Reznor was an inspiration on Atticus Ross, but either way, it's good stuff. This is just unsustainable. There's too many enemies, I'm not able to clear them fast enough. the whole time. Right, let's keep going. Let's try it again. Honestly, I just realized I should have a redeem to make chat hydrate. Would that be a faux pas? I am uh, Entropy's mom, I guess. like a motherly thing to do. Wrote it down. Exactly.
fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, thanks for jamming out with us, Kitty. Oh, well, this sucks. I always get it right before I lose. <laughs> One of the bosses is dead, it looks like. It was almost game over. Fuck. Fuck. God. Holy shit, holy nuts. I want to win at least one. Oops. Oh, that's fine. I want to win at least one before I stop. Try the same character and gun, but I'm going to try a different strategy with picking up uh, add-ons.
Chen Reznor is just so good. Oh, no worries. I'm just glad that I uh, adjusted my stream so that I can play music without getting, uh, without nuking my VODs. <gasps> no, you're cute. You must have me conv confused for yourself. Hey, Denny, welcome in. Ahoy! Yeah, this guy's got the best emotes. The best emotes. Ahoy! Hey, Obsidian Tooth. Welcome in. How you doing, friend? Doing good. I'm doing great. Just hanging out. I can't believe we got to day eight. Can't believe it. But we did it. It's interesting. You're tiny though. We're tiny. We're a little we're a little tiny. Just, I'm just a little, a little dude, you know? Just a little guy. Hey, Gachi, welcome in. How you doing, friend? So many cuties here today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. May as well, may as well just put this uh, this playlist on and said it's for Sketty. It's all good stuff. Cutie sec overflow. Having for a bit, finishing up dinner, and then going to watch the show with some friends. Cool. Thanks for hanging out. 
we love we love when you're when you're hanging out when you're when you're enjoying this enjoying hanging out with us okay Yeah, definitely. See? Hello, I'm going to I'm going to need all that uh, EXP, please. A big, honestly, a big rip about Alex's glasses experiences in Crystal Castles.
Maybe. We have so many slots, though. It's, it's ridiculous to me how o overpowered the spears are compared to everything else right now. Ah, and then I did that. <laughs> Me imagining Skeddy walking outside and filling their pockets with mushrooms. Hey Pico, welcome in. How's it going today? We're just jamming out to some some nine inch nails and Alice Glass and playing some video games together. Mostly rocks. I, I used to collect rocks like a lot when I was a kid. A lot, a lot. And then I just at some point stopped. I Probably because I realized that I had so many and I wasn't doing anything with them. So now we learn that uh, Trent Reznor is a swallower. Doing pretty good. I finished work a bit ago today. Chilling on the couch until it's time to jump in to help got you with dinner. Hell yeah, that sounds great. Have a nice little relaxing time. Hope work didn't go too bad for you. Moved right here, my parents were like, What's in this box? Rocks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Every last one. Electro. So the spears are really good to just keep enemies away from me, so that it's less likely that I will just, just need to move. They give her a lot of safety. What the f oh, it was a bomb, damn it. I did have a breakthrough in understanding how to read the OBS WS Python documentation. Hell yeah. I'm glad. That's great. It's great to learn stuff like that. Makes things easier in the future as well. This is a brain strain.
Have a good night, Jackie. Thanks so much for stopping in. Hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, I'll probably be late. Uh, I'll probably be live late tonight. But no big deals either way. Hope you have a wonderful night. See ya. Oh, we're definitely having a great night. Just saying. With friends like these, how could I have a bad night, you know? An interesting build. Ooh. I wish you could take the same skill multiple times. Give me extra tiny. Give me tiny tiny. Give me teeny tiny.
It's going to just kind of be a chill day, I think, mostly. I'm just kind of relaxing. It's been a really long streak of streams, so I'm just trying to take it easy. We got some good music on, we got some friends hanging out. Oh my god. Am I keeping up? Okay. I'm gonna run AFK for just a second, grab a, a restroom break, and I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I love you. All right, I'm back. Let's see. Hello, hello. Um. A oh, Hawaii. <laughs> playing deer character this time how do I wonder how I transform into a deer Here. 
so cute. This is going to be a fun character. Seems like that's kind of a semi-random thing, though, so... Who knows? Okay. Get a lot of room clear and XP gain from that. Not sure what triggers it. It might just be a time thing. It might be every 60 seconds or something. Very, very interesting. Definitely not 60 seconds, that's for sure. Oh, I transformed. Soul conversion. Nature's blessing, character size, increase, movement speed, increase, summon damage, increase. Oh, cool. I'm a bigger deer. <laughs> I like that there's like no risk either about when you're going to transform. This counts as summon damage.
Yeah, that's great. I'm loving this character. <laughs> Power bounce, prior rate. Oh yeah, that song's great. I done got dead. I want to see some specifics about this character real quick. Every 25 enemies killed. Oh, okay. Increased by summon damage and move speed. Oh. Let's try the bat gun.
Ooh, growth is pretty good. Hmm. I work towards these final ranks for shield. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the tempo. I kind of like for this instance to have a smaller field. So I need movement speed, and I need summon damage. I may as well get some soul hearts while we're at it. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Thought I got hit. <laughs> away. I was a fool. Another summon build, though. It's the unfortunate thing. Movement speed. Yay, dance party! For us are good. Don't know if run and gun works with this. I won't know till the next. Transformation, I think. Mm. 
fucking so hard to tell. In a deer form, automatically shoot out snowballs that deal 25% of your deer form's damage. Ooh. Is it time for uh, a co stream where I play as a deer and you play as deer game, honey? Okay, this run should be pretty easy. Speed. Oh, I got hit? What the fuck did I get hit from? That was insanely rude. Oh, that was such a good run. I think he spawned three bombs literally inside my character. It was a big bummer. Big same, Scotty. Big game. <laughs> TSA hates when you use this one secret. Fist. 
This critter is banned from airplanes for life. Their secret? You won't believe this one trick. <laughs> A true Sigma. <laughs> A Ligma Sigma, the highest form. Uh... Too much sigma to get through the security checkpoints. You keep getting stopped, oh. Oh, that hit me. Fuck. Yeah. I live for CrossFit. I don't want any of these. I guess I'll take Vitality, maybe? Ooh. Full damage and fire rate by fifty percent when you get hit. No. I'm getting like the worst upgrades. Tier form automatically shoot out snowballs. All right.
just the crossfade to the music is the closest we're going to get to a Trent Reznor and Alice Glass collaboration for the time being. Try to do it again. Movement speed, it's gotta be movement speed. This dude's got a lot of health. Transformed right as he hit me. Uh, summon attack speed. Quick burn, I guess. Okay, thank god. Summon damage, absolutely. Get out of here, eyeballs. Nobody wants you. Dragon egg. Summon attack speed is really fast. Tempted to get dodge. For when I'm not deer like that, how? I 
Summon damage. Just instant, always dear. matter so I guess I'll get walk speed Yeah, late game you're just constantly invulnerable and a deer. It's awesome. Dear Overlords, I, yeah, I can't really think of an argument against it, to be honest. It's not going to be the best against certain bosses, but, you know, that's alright. I always take the skin and peel it back, you know? I guess more character size will be a giant deer.
Hey, Hypno. How you doing, girl? Big lick to you, too, friend. Take that however you like. Summon a dear friend that deals 50% of your dear forms damage. Okay. Um. Summon damage 20%. Hell yeah. Hi. How's your day going? We're being a deer. And just massacring a bunch of uh, eldritch beings. But, like, it's fine. It, death isn't really a thing for non-Euclidean beings. It's fine. Ooh, welcome home. Took your mom out to birthday dinner. Aw, oh, that sounds lovely. I bet a nice time. Oh, Soul Train. I should have been doing that the whole time. Coconut cake. I also love coconut. That is the thing that I definitely share with you. Ooh. That's a true cutie right there. I don't remember fighting this person. Take a lot of a lot of hurdy ouch damage. Whew. Move speed fifty percent or summon damage. I guess that's kind of all the same. Oh, it also increases summon attack speed. Oh hell yeah. Coconut and lime was your favorite desserty flavors. Ooh, nice. I could see it. I could see it. I like vanilla a lot. I think I like vanilla and coconut a lot. Those are my two faves. Holy shit, that hurt. Vanilla is super underrated. I agree.
Thanks for following. Are, Are you, you sure? Down? Hey, thanks for following. Are you sure? Thanks for the follow. Thanks so much. Yeah, I agree, Hibno. It's it's vanilla is definitely not plain. Hey Tilly, thank you so much for the good luck. <laughs> I love that alert too. It's so good. I, in my mind, vanilla is like the same category as like chocolate. They're additives to make a particular flavor. Neither of them are without flavor. It's just a shame that, like, real vanilla beans and stuff are so expensive. I don't know if I've shared with y'all, but there's a super, super easy recipe for some Bavarian cream that we've been doing lately that is really easy, really inexpensive, and really tasty. One more follow to get back to 200. I don't often drink, but I love like a cola, vanilla, lime, and white rum cocktail. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I've never had that, anything like that before. The uh, easy recipe uh, is it's just a box of, like the small box of vanilla like instant pudding and a cup and a half of cream like heavy heavy whipping cream and you just mix it together with a uh, a hand mixer and it just thickens up into a really nice thick cream and then you can just kind of do whatever with it <clears throat> you can put it inside of a, like a puff pastry or uh, we, we've been doing it inside of like a tortilla which is kind of nice um, we've been having it in, like, with ice cream or yogurt. Vanilla yogurt is really good with. It's really good. It's, like, super, super cheap. One of those boxes of yogurt mix is, or pudding mix is, like, 88 cents. And then just, like, a cup and a half of heavy cream. So, you know, like a dollar maybe. It's really good. Inside of me... Everything. I am the great destroyer. Vision to the shit they pump into your head. Hell yeah. Character size plus 50%. Oh my god, I'm going to be so big. Oh, I'm so big! Full screen deer! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um... On my screen and my chat, the D and the ear are split lines. <laughs> Even better. We got 28 seconds left. Reload speed. <laughs> Do 
your force! <laughs> we did it! We unlocked a new character. The song also has an Easter egg in it reference to the ARG. Sorry, let me so much when I switch to a different listening device. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. I'm excited to hear more about that. Thanks for bringing that to our attention, Skitter. Hister, ooh. Periodically summon a tentacle that attacks enemies for 30 damage. It's, yeah, cool. What a cute character. I gotta try this at least once now. Um, I like the back gun, but it's not really my favorite. Maybe I'll do revolver? I don't know. Runes. Anytime you take lethal damage, instead of destroy one of your summons. You heal 1 HP every 5th level and gain 4% more XP per rank. Seems good. I'm going to do that. Hmm. Your revolver. Bosses have more HP. Um, let's get back to the forest. I think I've beaten all the maps now. Oh, I see. The tentacle doesn't actually target. It just kind of spawns. Interesting. I mean, it's not bad, but it leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, reload rate. Thinking about hopping over to maybe some Risk of Rain after this, unless anyone wants to redeem another reading chapter or another whatever. Thanks for the dream. Oh, after this run, I'll I'll do that. I feel like we're getting kind of close to to finishing that book. Maybe it'd be nice. It'd be poetic to finish it on the last day of the stream. Although we'll see if I even finish the stream today, because there's so many hours. I was a little bit extra generous with my um, 200 follower ad. I did six hours and then I thought better of it and did another two hours because eight hours was about my average. Produce nice madness. Thank you. Increase timer madness. Uh-oh, it happened. May as well just increase it right now so I don't forget. Thanks for that, Hypno. I see you want me to stick around. Quite full of madness. What, do you want bigger redeems? Is that what you're asking for? Dancing mad? Uh... Rate. I think running gun is going to be the most helpful right now. So we'll read a chapter of Pink and Yellow, and then we'll switch to Risk of Rain after that, I think. Hopefully it's not getting too boring watching us run that. 
I've been really enjoying playing it. Let's do glare. Blood. I think Glare is a pretty apt power for Hester. You know, the, something that would make this game a lot more interesting for me would be if each character had its own unique, like, full set of drops. I know that's a lot of extra work, but... Or maybe even, like, there's like a base set and then a character-specific set, so, like... Or maybe you could do, like, a deck-building element to it where you figure out which stuff will drop for that character. Pin looks pretty fun and easy to make. Yeah, it does. It's it's not too far from like a shmup, except it's not just one direction, so it's just like a twin stick. Yeah, I agree, Hypno. This is a game that I think would be really fun to make. And by the way, if you're wondering when I'm going to stream um, Sucker for Love again, I'm going to take care of some of the like replay stuff just to get through the first two chapters so that I can unlock the third one, and then I'll stream the third chapter. <laughs> I want to make a game that gets so fucking broken. The balance, what's that? I mean, I think a lot of these games do that. Might even be better for the chat integrated game. Ooh. Imagine people's profile pictures coming at you. <laughs> I think I can imagine that. Yeah, Bunny of Eyes, it def definitely has items that can get really broken, but it does take a little bit of a paying attention and learning about the game a lot before breaking runs are really super common but they're really rewarding although uncommon yeah that's a pretty good one as well It takes many hours to get comfortable, to even finish a run, and there is so many new things added to that game. It's like hundreds of hours to 100%, probably even thousands of hours to 100% that game. And it's all just so random. Like all the levels and all the pickups, and there's a huge pool, so it's interesting. But there's so many ways that you can manipulate what things drop and from where, and it's good. Dang, H Hypno, why aren't you playing that shit on stream? That's actually a game that I enjoy watching people stream. I just hate Edmund.
mostly because he has no problem working with really bad racists and perverts and stuff. And then when people brought it to his attention, he was just like, Oh, that's, ooh, that's bad, and then nothing ever happened. I mean, he himself didn't really do anything uh, ridiculous, but... People like to forget, you know? All the love in the world. Um... Ah, that's a lot, Hypno. He finally burned out. That's totally fair. <laughs> Did you play any of the, um, like the fan made, like afterbirth or anti birth or whatever it's called? With all that extra fan content. I heard it was pretty, pretty decent and well, relatively well balanced. But I was never like, run, I never ran out of content in the base game. Welcome back, Denny. <laughs> I love the thought of Hester, like the the god from the King in Yellow just like having a fucking revolver gun shooting at people. Oh, that they ultimately integrated into the base game. Yeah. I heard that they kind of unfortunately just like stole all those people's work and didn't give like much credit about it, but I don't really know too much about that. Like, I guess Edmund claimed that he had made a bunch of changes to it so that it was a little bit more viable for the base game, but then if you actually looked at it, he didn't change anything about it. This is all certainly just conjecture and poor recollection, but the information is kind of out there. If you wanted to look it up. I mean, I think they got paid, but they didn't get all that recognition, so I don't know. Take from that what you will, I suppose. But I'm not too certain one way or the other. It became that situation where it was just like, oh yeah, they made a cool mod, so we hired them on the team, and then really what that meant was that they just took all of the stuff that they had already made and then integrated it into the game kind of poorly. But I don't know. That's not really surprising to me from the way I know about the games uh, industry.
Oh. Flex. I think I want to go with some survivability a little bit, even though we're doing okay, but we are starting to get surrounded. about what I'm going to do and uh, about our assets when art assets when it comes to doing a serious project hmm I think you've got some friends that would be willing to at least help I would actually love to have like little little tasks about that <laughs> <laughs> like little little ways of helping out and what I can because I just I think it sounds really fun does so much damage. It's wild. I think this is the most damage I've done individually with like these spears and this gun. It's wild. The spears do like 500 damage, it's so much. That's really good. Let's see. Oh, let me get caught up with chat. A lot of stuff's happened. Job it myself, but I'm not good enough for what I want. I've considered just getting super weird with it, because, you know, like, weird, and if we lean into that aesthetic, then it becomes so much more natural. Mason Lindroth approach. I mean, that sounds great. Like, there, there is no, like, specific level of art that has to be done. There's, like, look at Banya of Isaac. The art in that is not particularly good. And then you just lean into it, and that's now the aesthetic. Yeah, look, we all want to we all want to help for sure, and I think we're all pretty impressed with the uh, the game stuff you've already done. Yeah, cruelty squad is it's it's something. Skitter, did you happen to look into uh, Golden Light? <laughs> that's another one that's kind of like Cruelty Squad, but a little bit less cursed.
But I like Cruelty Squad, but the gameplay was not my favorite. Yeah, it seems really, really difficult. I watched a friend play it for a little while, and it seemed really painful. It definitely has an like, old nostalgia aesthetic from like trying to play games when you're a little kid, and you don't understand what the fuck's happening to me. Definitely gives me some vibes of just like playing a normal game, but there's just so much visually going on that it's confusing. I feel like they ramped that specific aspect up in Cruelty Squad. Yeah, I think so too. Tentacles attack twice as often. Feed the beasts. To be a scavenger, just feeling that something mad. Supposed to be. I love this little community that we've been building. It's been so nice meeting all these really cool, interesting people that I, I just thought that everyone was an asshole. But I'm finding that to be very wrong. I'm finding so many people that like to just treat each other really well, and that's so cool and refreshing. Don't be a self-described asshole, Obsidian. Why would you why would anyone want to be an asshole? No. I don't believe either of you. But I do gotta tell you that so when somebody declares themselves to be an asshole and they think it's a fun thing, it's, I start to worry. Because I don't like assholes. And I like both of you. <laughs> a turd hole. <laughs> Drucy, hey friend. How are you doing today? Uh -huh! <laughs> I agree, Hypno. Morally challenged. Why not morally bankrupt, Denny? Good, I'm glad. I'm so glad. Hello, hello. We're just hanging out and listening to music with each other. Playing some video games.
Rapid fire? Split fire. Hmm. Rapid fire. Oh my, so many bullets. Ooh. Elements. Yeah. Inspirational is always your form. Change the course of, of this stream for one day at least. God, I keep re <laughs> I keep reloading with lightning. It's a lot more convenient than I expected it to be. Because reloading isn't really a thing that we're doing. Oh, this kitty wants belly rubs. Intense burn. I like a nice intense burn, right?
think we got this. I don't think I've taken any red heart damage yet. Oh, I just did. Rip. for the kitty. Did it. Easy peasy. Yay. That was a good run. That's a very cute character. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll do it right now. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. All right. We have Act 3 from the Yellow Sign. Like book 3 or 4, I think? Oh, no, we're like halfway through this book. This is going to be a lot left, which is good. Yay, story time. Hmm. Did you get your little blankie? You can color while I read if you want. The day following was a disastrous one for me. While moving a framed canvas from one easel to another, my foot slipped on the polished floor and I fell heavily on both wrists. They were so badly sprained that it was useless to attempt to hold a brush, and I was obliged to wander about the studio glaring at unfinished drawings and sketches until despair seized me and I sat down to smoke and twiddle my thumbs with rage. The rain blew against the windows and rattled on the roof of the church, driving me into a nervous fit with its inter interminable patter. Tessie sat sewing by the window and every now and then raised her head and looked at me with such innocent compassion that I began to feel ashamed of my irritation and looked about for something to occupy me. I had read all the papers and all the books in the library, but for the sake of something to do, I went to the bookcases and shoved them open with my elbow. I knew every volume by its color and examined them all, passing slowly around the library and whistling to keep up my, up my spirits. I was turning to go into the dining room when my eye fell upon a book bound in serpent skin, standing in a corner of the top shelf of the last bookcase. I did not remember it, and from the floor could not decipher the pale lettering on the back, so I went to my, the smoking room and called Tessie. She came in from the studio and climbed up to reach the book. What is it? I asked. The King in Yellow. I was dumbfounded. Who had placed it there? How come? 
How came it in my rooms? I had long ago decided that I should never open that book, and nothing on earth would have persuaded me to buy it. Fearful, lest curiosity might tempt me to open it, and I had never even looked at it in bookstores. If I ever had had any curiosity to read it, the awful tragedy of young Castaigne, whom I knew prevented me from exploring its wicked pages. I had always refused to listen to any description of it, and indeed, nobody ever ventured to discuss the second part aloud, so I had absolutely no knowledge of what those leaves might reveal. I stared at the poisonous model binding as it would as it would as I would a snake. Don't touch it, Tessie, I said. Come down. Of course, my admonition was enough to arouse her curiosity, and before I could prevent it, she took the book and, laughing, danced off into the studio with it. I called to her, but she slipped away with a tormenting smile at my helpless hands, and I followed her with some impatience. Tessie, I cried, and entering the library, Listen, I am serious. Put that book away. I do not wish you to open it. The library was empty, and I went into both drawing rooms, then into the bedrooms, laundry, kitchen, and finally returned to the library and began a systematic search. She had hidden herself so well, it was an half an hour later when I discovered her crouching, white and silent, by the lattice window in the storeroom above. At the first glance I saw she had been punished for her foolishness. The king in yellow lay at her feet, but the book was open at the second part. I looked at Tessie and saw it was too late. She had opened the king in yellow. Then I took her by the hand and led her into the studio. She seemed dazed, and when I told her to lie down on the sofa, she obeyed me without a word. After a while, she closed her eyes, and her breathing became regular and deep, but I could not determine whether or not she slept. For a long while I sat silently beside her, but she neither stirred nor spoke, and at last I rose, and, entering the unused storeroom, took the book in my least injured hand. It seemed heavy as, le as lead, but I carried it into the studio again, and sitting down on the rug beside the sofa, opened it and read it through from beginning to end. When, faint with excess of my emotions, I dropped the volume and leaned wearily back against the sofa, Tessie opened her eyes and looked at me. We had been speaking for some time in a dull, monotonous strain before I realized that we were discussing the king in yellow. Oh, the sin of writing such words, words which are clear and cr as crystal, limpid and musical as bubbling springs, words which sparkle and glow like the poisoned diamonds of the metasus. Oh, the wickedness, the hopeless damnation of a soul who could fascinate and paralyze human creatures with such words, words understood by the ignorant and wise alike, words which are more precious than jewels, more soothing than music, more awful than death. We talked on, unmindful of the gathering shadows, and she was begging me to throw away the clasp of black onyx quaintly inlaid with what we knew to be the yellow sign. I never shall know why I refused. Though even at this hour, here in my bedroom, was as I write this confession, I should be glad to know what it was that prevented me from wearing, tearing the yellow sign from my breast and casting it into the fire. I'm sure I wish to do so, and yet Tessie pleaded with me in vain. Night fell, and the hours dragged on, but still we murmured to each other of the king and, and the pallid mask, and midnight sounded from the misty spires of the fog-wrapped city. We spoke of Hastur and of Casilda, while outside the fog rolled against the blank w window panes as the cloud waves roll and break on the shores of Halley. The house was very silent now, and not a sound came up from the misty streets. Tessie lay among the cushions, her face a gray blot in the gloom, but her hands were clasped in mine, and I knew that she knew and read my thoughts as I read hers, for we had understood the mystery of the Hyades and the phantom of truth was laid. Then as we answered each other, swiftly, silently, thought on thought, the shadows stirred in the gloom around us, and far in the distant streets we heard a sound. Nearer and nearer it came, the dull crunching of wheels nearer and yet nearer, and now, outside before the door, it ceased, and I dragged myself to the window and saw a black-plumed hearse, the gate below open and shut, and I crept, shaking to my door, and bolted it. But I knew no bolts, no locks could keep that creature out who was coming for the yellow sign. And now I heard him moving very softly along the hall. Now he was at the door, and the bolts rotted at his touch. Now he had entered. With eyes starting from my head, I peered into the darkness. But when he came into the room, I did not see him. It was only when I felt him envelop me in his cold, soft grasp that I cried out and struggled with deadly fury. But my hands were useless, and he tore the onyx clasp from my coat and struck me full in the face. 
Then, as I fell, I heard Tessie's soft cry, and her spirit fled. And even while falling, I longed to follow her, for I knew that the king in yellow had opened his tattered mantle, and there was only God to cry now. I could tell more, but I cannot see what help it will be to, to the world. As for me, I am past human help or hope. As I lie here, writing, careless even whether or not I die before I finish, I can see the doctor gathering up his powders and files with a vague gesture to the good priest beside me, which I understand. They will be very curious to know the tragedy, they of the outside world who write books and print millions of newspapers, but I shall write no more, and the Father Confessor will seal my last words with the seal of sanctity with his holy office is done. They of the outside world may send their creatures into wretched homes and death-smitten death -smitten firesides, and their newspapers will batten on blood and tears, but with me their spies must halt before the confessional. They know that Tassie is dead and that I am dying. They know how the people in the house, aroused by an infernal scream, rushed into my room and found one living and two dead. But they do not know what I shall tell them now. They do not know that the doctor said as he pointed to a horrible decomposed heap on the floor, the livid corpse of the watchman from the church. I have no theory, no explanation. That man must have been dead for months. I think I am dying. I wish the priest would. And that is the end of the yellow sign. Thank you for the redeem. Hope it was enjoyable. Yeah. It's been really nice. I really think I might want to uh, edit all of the clips down into one contiguous story and then maybe post that on YouTube or something one day. Or maybe just do a new one. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to take a quick AFK. We've been going for about three and a half hours. And then we're going to switch over. Yeah, Cathonic Audiobook, exactly. We'll do Risk of Rain a little bit next. Right, I'm going to wait for just a bit, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Cathodio book, I see, I get it. He uh, is coming back. Oh. 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 Oh.
Hey, Jer. How's it going? Welcome in. <laughs> goes well for me how does it go for thee we're just about to start playing some risk of rain would you care to join Just the audio a little bit, turn the music down so we can continue having other musics. Hell yeah, sounds great. Too much sandwich? That reminds me, there's a really good sandwich shop in uh, in Tucson that we've been to before. It's a really good place. Yeah, I absolutely will. Uh, Bumsits is okay. Hello. But uh, Bison Witches was the one that I was remembering. I think we had Bumsits once and we were like, this is okay. I don't remember though. It's been a long time. So we have just a couple of mods on that don't require a, a bunch of hullabaloo, just a, a few minor, minor things. One of them is when you put, when you grab an item from a 3D printer, it automatically puts it into your inventory. And I think it does the same for a scrappers, but I'm not 100% sure. But that just means I have to host now for us to all have it. Oh, cool, Hypno. Crossing my fingers that uh, um, that I don't need to keep using that program to capture the mouse into Risk of Rain. So we'll see. I'm gonna have to pause to start that up soon. Hello. Hello. So heavily focused on learning Dev that I haven't had the urge to play much myself anyway. That's yeah. I don't understand that. Hypno. Okay. Back to Bandit. It 
that's up to you, Hypno. That is something that you can do. Teleporter all the way over there. Yeah, look at that little teleporter. <laughs> a little water bear chest. There's a bonus mag over here. That's true, I do need to build a bunch of those up at some point. Concentrate on getting some survivability stuff. <laughs> I die too easy. <laughs> Alright, should we pull the boss? You know, I actually forgot to run the modded version of the game. Rip. <laughs> so we'll just play vanilla this time and then we'll switch it. My bad. Totally not used oh, to doing that. A lot of wisps. Put it charged. Oh, there's a scrapper over there.
Okay, so this guy. Oh, right. We're playing non modded. Derp. Mm hmm. For now. For now. Ooh, looks like a Whoa. brilliant behemoth. Win big! Nice. Any other chests left, or are we pretty much clear? I think that's pretty much everything. Alright. Everyone ready? I'm ready. Hold on just a second. For sure, we will do. Okay, I'm ready. I love the bicey meat just slapped onto my chest. <laughs> Honestly, how accurate holds it is the best. <laughs> I don't know so if I've seen that one. He just holds it in his mouth. Oh, really? Or, or I guess it just holds it in its mouth. So it is only ever... It is, it is an it, it. A poly mm -hmm. you Do I want that? Uh, yes. That's probably the wrong decision, but <laughs> what is life but a series of wrong decisions? Good night, Skitter. Good night, Skitter. Love you, friend. Thanks for partying with us. Yeah, thanks for being here. Dream of weird. Scrapper. Good night, Tooth. Good night, Tooth. Thanks for stopping in. Y'all are sweet and wonderful, and I love both of you. Ahoy! Ahoy. <laughs> 162. That's a lot. Yo-ha! <laughs> <laughs> A green 3D printer for a Berserker's Pauldron. Huh. Yo ha's good, but also Yahoy! <laughs> or Yaho! It's also good. Whoa, I am almost getting murdered over here. Hello. No, thank you. No. You mm -hmm. should try to avoid getting murdered. What? Yeah. That's a good idea. I agree with you. Bound to have one good idea a day, I think. Let me know if anyone sees a decent, um... Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Got the backup? Uh, if anyone sees a decent white 3D printer for like a... Crit glasses or something? Or attack speed? <gasps> Ooh, nice! I'm about ready to fight the boss if y'all are. Well, I think I'm ready. I'll start making my way over there. I will too. Hit 
hitting it right now. Hit it. Got some stuff to scrap. Alright, I'm gonna go try and find a scrapper to scrap this harpoon. There's one right here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are all scrapping the harpoon. <laughs> yeah, I hate, I actually don't like having it. Same. Not actually useful. Okay. I'm ready to go, I think. Just need to use the, uh, the 3D printer. Happy Sabathon, everybody! Yeah! I found a couple more things here. Ooh, a delicate watch. I might try getting transcendence if we find a shop at some point. Yeah, find one in out. a shop. Okay. I am ready. Blast shower. What the heck is that? I'm ready too. Uh, it just removes debuffs. Mm. Yeah, it's a use item, removes debuffs on use. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, there's this lunar pod here. Spinal tonic, no thanks. Alright. You ready, Kerry? I am ready. Then let's away. Let's go. Making pretty good time so far, I think. Stage three with less than 15 minutes? That seems pretty good. Yeah. Is there a speedrun chest? I don't know if we actually... It's under, t it's under 10 minutes. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it, is it the same for all difficulties? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm really hurting after that. How much health do y'all have? Same about same as much as me? Okay. I have 440. I have 490. 465 over I, here. I do have, uh, two bison steaks, though, so... Oh, there's a Mocha 3D printer up here. Alright. I'm 
the focus crystal. 3D printer over there. Mm. Teleport is all the way over here. Power Elixir 3D printer. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, I have no idea what just killed me. I think one of those little rats just exploded me. Oh god. I... That's the only explanation I have. I... That's wow. no fun. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. Oops. <laughs> Time to snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Consolation prize? You get a I snack. swear it was not on purpose so I could continue eating my snack. It was <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> It was absolutely a surprise, I promise. And the more I explain it, the less it sounds like it was a surprise, doesn't it? <laughs> I swear, officer, I was just as surprised as you are to see all those dead bodies in my basement. In fact, <laughs> I remember thinking, this is so surprising how many dead bodies there are. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, wow. Oof! I just cannot get any good healing items. All I had was the bustling fungus. Trying to find where that 3D printer was. For the mocha? Mm-hmm. Uh, I was back up on the, like, ridge. Yes. Much close to where we started. Okay. No. There's a scrapper right there, though. Thank you for the raid, Kinko. How's it going? Trying to get to. <gasps> Kinko Kitty! Ahoy! Ahoy! Ahoy, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Let's find some Rosarine with some friends right now. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. Son of a bitch. Is it a little laggy? Oops. My computer's having a hard time. So good to see ya. How went the rest of the uh, Resident Evil 4? I assume that you stuck, you continued with that for a bit? I was lurking earlier. It was really nice. Everybody check out Kinko Kitty. She does great, great fun stuff. She has the, the, one of the best avatars I've seen. Jeez. Go. Seven hours of fun with RE4 Remake? Hell yeah! It looks really good! A good looking remake! Glad you had a good time! And thanks so much again for the raid! It's very kind of you! Goodness! Uh, 
I'm probably gonna die on this boss, if I'm being honest. Was it due to the playing? <laughs> oh yeah, I can see why. Woo! Oh my god. Woo! No, my delicate watches! Oh, almost killed the boss even. All right, let me reload, relaunch the game, and I'll be back with a new lobby in just a moment. Let's do another shout out while um, uh, I have the game closed. Hopefully it will be a little bit less laggy. Not me, okay. I'm just gonna quit to desktop then. He's got little white crusties in his eye. <laughs> this would make for a great my face when meme. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> Worn out yeah. places. Just gets uh, wasted, put across the front of it. Okay. Let's see if the OBS will capture it this time. We're getting there. Hey, we've been reading through uh, The King in Yellow, if you're unfamiliar, it was, a, it was a really old, it was like late 1800s cosmic horror book. It's a, it's set like a play almost, a multi-act, multi-booked book. It's like an anthology. It's really good. We're about halfway through it right now. It's really interesting, but I've got to redeem for it, um, for reading it, for reading a chapter at a time. I've been really enjoying it. Is that better UI? What is that? That does nothing. Uh, close. Welcome, welcome. Will these work? Yeah.
That was a pretty good run. Not too bad at all. Yeah. The Brilliant Behemoth couldn't carry us through, unfortunately. Unfortunately, what is it? It's doubling it, but I don't have a whole lot to double. Hmm. Ooh. Six, six, six. <gasps> Did it. Yeah. Oh my god, shoot. Just couldn't hit it. For food and stuff. Yeah, enjoy the food. Having a great time, and and we definitely will. Thank you so much. Hope you also have a great night. Enjoy that lurk. Sticky bomb 3D printer. I also got a mod that uh, automatically puts me in sprint mode when I'm available to. Oh. So like if I'm not in combat or actually shooting, I can sprint and it just automatically does it. So I don't have to keep getting, you know, carpal tunnel, hitting that control button. kind of nice and you can hold control to make yourself walk if you want to hmm. yeah, that's not bad it's, it seems pretty you know it's not breaking the game or anything yeah nice good amount of shine <laughs> we all found the teleporter at the same time <clears throat> Maybe. Keeping it hidden. Ooh, nice. Predatory instincts. I would love a splatter spoon. I still have not had one on this character. I mean, it's kind of rare. Yeah. And most of the boss items are just uncommon. Yeah, do you know which boss drops it? I can't recall. Um, The Greater Imp. Oh. Or Imp Overlord, rather. We, we hardly ever fight that one, actually. Yeah, I think it can be a boss that spawns on, like, the specific third and fourth levels, and that's it. There's a Samarang here, if anyone wants it.
I'm not a huge fan of that one, but I will take it if no one else wants it. Because I have an empty slot right now. Fine by me. I think I'm about ready for the boss. I think so. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty picked over. Grab that summering real quick. I'll take a Neural and one of the Rosebud players. I think we're, yeah, I think we're ready to go as soon as it's done. There are a few drones in the immediate area that I would like to pick up, but it will be very quick. Sure. Say, like, right here. Gotta have drone friends. Grab them, grab them. Mm-hmm. There's one more somewhere over there. I will be by the portal. Let me know and I'll hit it. Okay. Ah, uh, two more. Oh, no. Not enough money. Okay, I'm ready. One sec. No problem. Don't think I went through the tunnel. That's where I am right now. Okay. Ready? Yes. Fusion 3D printer. I was like, what the fuck? No item came out of that 3D printer, but then I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You can just it's run right away. You can save us quite a bit of time. You do still have to wait before you can keep pressing it over and over again, but... I just want this big chest. Give me some money, game. Found teleporter. Backup magazine 3D printer. Ooh, there you go. It's time. I don't think I have enough white items to take advantage of that, to be honest. How many do you need? Well, I need to kill an enemy with 20 stacks of the debuff, and it wears off roughly about the time that it takes to cast it. So I need, I like, tw more than 20, probably. Gotcha. Because it's going to take me more than the time to cast 20 than it will to just... Yeah. ...one to fall off, I'd imagine. So this early, unfortunately, isn't the best time to be getting so, that. So is it just bleed that it needs to have? No, it needs to have a hemorrhage. Okay. Which and I think like is the debuff specific class to specific. That. I think so, yeah. Okay. And it only triggers off of my right click. Hmm. I guess technically, if I had like an alien head or whatever, and reduces cooldowns, that that would also work. But it just needs to be one enemy with 20 stacks of hemorrhage. I need to kill them. Uh. Not a huge deal, of course, but... Tis a quest. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm kind of thinking about as I play. Obsessing over, you know. There's a scrapper. Powers. Okay. Let me get rid of this fucking bottle. Scrappers do auto uh, input into your inventory, by the way. Okay. Nice. Um, I have four scrap, so that'll give me five. Back at mags. I don't even remember where that uh, printer was. It is that way. Oh, we'll head that close, way. Thank you. Close to the boss thing. Oh, hey, one of the switches is right here. Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. Interesting. the other button. Mm -hmm. 
more useless whites for me. Wee. I'm gonna hit the challenge Warp. channel real quick. War banner's good. I mean, if you want to stand still, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty big range. Gets bigger with more war banners. I can get some later, but I have a goal. And let me see if I can go back and find that uh, scrapper. Over there. Over there. Somewhere. Precisely over there. Not just somewhere. So it's not there or there, then it has to be over here. I'm suddenly ready for the boss whenever you are. Uh, give me one second. Take all the seconds you need. You can even have thirds if you want. <gasps> Hi, Stormy, on Druziform's behalf. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works in response? Probably not. Hi! Hi, Stormy! Hi, Druziform! Hi, Hi Stormiform! Stormy. Mm. Probably gonna keep this bison meat though. Yeah, I am ready. I'm headed over to that area. Okay. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Let's. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've been missing it the whole time. It's really dangerous on these, I should probably not try it on this boss. Because he likes to do the suck when I'm right next to him. Oh no, mm -hmm. oh no, oh no, oh no! I need to run away. Be okay. safe. Little, little Lemurians are gonna kill me. Fine, we're doing great and we're fine. The screen is suddenly not red finally. I like having three topaz brooches. I have a, a thousand shield. Nice. 
Yeah, I like the topaz brooches, but I don't find them that often, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a 3D printer for them. Right here. That's where I got all mine. Yeah, but I, do I want to give up on my goals of trying to unlock the one thing? I mean, I'd say no. But I think the map is pretty picked over. Yeah. I agree. How many Berserker's Pauldrons are reasonable to have? <laughs> uh, as many as you can. You think so? Mm-hmm. I think they stack exponentially, but... Or... Multiple anti, kids, really? Yeah, anti-exponentially. Um, but uh, they're good. Oh, I remember old anti <laughs> <laughs> She had good pot pies. Strave Nation. There's a transcendence. Really? Ah, okay. Hammerage is specifically coded as super bleeding. Mm. So it is an its entirely own unique effect. For a soulbound catalyst. One, what two, does that one do again? Three, four, five. Uh kills reduce equipment cooldown. Mm. Well, rip. Well, I am ready to depart. <laughs> Hi, Stormy's behalf. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready. Okay. I should have rolled a couple of times to get more transcendence. Yeah, it seems like the easiest way to uh, to get that is to just stack backup mags. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, Ocular HUD is also really good mm. because it gives you 100% crit, so 100% like application. Right. Um, so basically, it seems like you just get a bunch of backup mags and then an Ocular HUD and then just go to town on the boss. And just keep doing that until you get lucky. Mm, I th unfortunately, I thought that the right click was a 100% guaranteed chance to apply it, but I guess not. It needs to be a crit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Serrated dagger only causes hemorrhages on critical strikes. Hmm. Planula, more like manure. Hardly planula. Ahoy! I do like no damage. I guess that's what happens when you stack a bunch of backup mags instead of actual useful items.
Oh, there's no void seeds or anything inside this? Or void pods? That should be illegal. Hmm. It's like false advertising. What's it like to be high on Stormy's behalf? You're muted, sweetie. I am muted. That sounds fun. It sounds like a like it would be a party, you know? I feel like Stormy would oh, encourage you to have a good me. time. Oh my you know? goodness. I would like to stay alive. Thank you very much. Oh, I found the teleporter. It is just in the mouth of that cave. Mm-hmm. You want to know what else is just in the mouth of that cave? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Uh, that's where the void seed was. Hey, Toxic Jester, how's it going? Well, that is a lot of damage very quickly. I did not enjoy that one bit. Ahoy! How have you been? Okay, I'm ready for the boss whenever y'all are. Okay, I will. I want a big drone. But we can get it after the boss, that's okay. So I am also ready for the boss. I am on my way. If you want to start it, you can. Take care of a couple of enemies real quick, and then I will. Woohoo! No work tomorrow! Party, party! Fuck okay, yeah, no work! Have a great night! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna start it. Okay. This is a fucked place to get these. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Oh god. Yeah, I'm running way out. There we go. Away from my shields. That's right. There's no enemies for you, Clay Doomstrider. So you sucked and then sucked nothing. <laughs> you had a dry suck. <laughs> Runs even going not bad. Ah. We're still uh, getting used to this difficulty. This is only the middle difficulty, but Lizzie and I aren't particularly super great at this game yet. Uh, our friend Jer, uh, Bear Master Ultimatum, has been carrying us pretty hard. Oh no! Oh no! It's Stop. dangerous in here. <laughs> Did you know about that? I hate that we got these guys two in a row. Mm-hmm. Range from the most fun difficulty, but I can manage on Monsoon. I used, I feel like I used to be a little bit better on Monsoon, but it's been a minute, and I have definitely been having a bit of a struggle to get back into the swing of things. But we've been doing okay. We've been able to get to like the the last, you know, stage eight and whatever boss phase. Not too. We'll get your own. Yeah, pretty pretty regularly, I think. Big friend, big friend. Yeah, I love the big drone. 
big friend. <laughs> Honestly, with how much you love drones, I'm surprised you don't play um, Captain. I'm not sure if I have Captain unlocked. You do. You I get do? it. Yeah. You get him unlocked just for killing the last boss. Well, I also yeah. don't understand how the character works, <laughs> but I've never tried him. I mean, he's you, you see drone, you buy drone. Uh, so his, like, unique thing is he starts with a red item that gives all of his drones, like, a protective laser where they shoot projectiles and it scales with his attack speed. So you just buy drones and they shoot things as they're coming to hit you. Mm -hmm. And you're just immortal. And then cool. shoot people with your handgun. Like, literal, your hand is a gun. Mm. Yeah, he's fun. Cool. Like, uh, like video drone? Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. That sounds good. Also, I think he's got a peg leg, you know. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and a hat. That yeah, that is true, huh? Yeah. So I I feel convinced. Also, I heard he hates cops, so you know. Mm, okay. <laughs> you know, the more you yeah. say, the more interested I get. I think I distinctly remember that. <laughs> a it's captain, like they call him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! What a great. What a great Sea of Thieves name that would be. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I almost you can, want to... You can name ships now, you know. You can get a captain's ship and name it something. Like Yeah, but I want so. I want that to be like my character name. And well? Just... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. I am also ready. I think I'm ready also. Know. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stare long That's and late this planula, though. The planula that could have been. Okay. Uh, I will save for the legendary chests. Also, I forgot to mention, Chair, I have 100% crit rate when I'm behind enemies, so as long as I'm behind the, like a boss, I should be able to apply 20 stacks. Yeah, that's true. The the HUD just makes it so that you like it doesn't. Don't, yeah, you don't have to be behind. Yeah. But being behind is my favorite place to be, you know. Ooh. That's true. Okay. Well, if it's not there there then i guess it has to be up there I might have exploded. Oh, no. <laughs> Tough time avoiding those guys. Goodness. Oh shit. Uh, is it over here? I also got another add-on that uh, removes empty chests from the map, mm. which has been really nice. Yeah. Yes, Toxic Jester, we are using some mods, um, just a couple. Mm -hmm. yeah, the basic ones, like when you use a 3D printer or a scrapper, it automatically puts the spit-out item in your inventory. And I think a couple of those that are like my specific for just me, like I have the stats on the on the right side. Um, what else? 
mostly it, I think. They they refuse to install the one that lets you play as Goku because they hate me and my hobbies. <laughs> well, the problem is that everyone would have to run it. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. And like, if we play just a random game with Azure as well, we wouldn't want to have to like have to coordinate. But we could always just like, oh, different profiles oh. and whatever. Okay. The uh, the tree up there does not have a hitbox. I found That's the big insane. chest. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know it could spawn down there. Oh god. Oh god. Get me out of here. Oh god. I'm dead. Don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> Protecting that chest, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's primarily vanilla. We might add some other, more mods later on. But for right now, we just kind of... We haven't Ooh. beaten the game a whole, like, enough to really run out of content. We're still working on difficulty stuff and stuff. And it's so fucking fun. I love this goddamn game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. It's a shame because there is one mod that I really want, which is um, players respawn on boss kill. So like we would be able to get boss items rather than missing out because you died, but. That one requires everybody to also have the mods installed. I mean, honestly, with the mod manager, it's not too hard to, like, have, like, multiple profiles. and Because you can also just load it, like, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, we'd have to just, like, you know, if someone didn't have them installed, we'd be like, oh, yeah, let's just reboot for a second. Ow, 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 stop. I said stop is the safe word. Uh, Jester, does that one require everyone have the mod installed, or does it just work for the client, or the server, I mean? I've definitely run that one before. The Shrine of Dio. It's pretty expensive to bring people back, but it's still worth it, I think. Oh, yeah. So many lasers. Mm -hmm. I hate this. Yeah, the lasers are what got me. They go ouch. Don't know, unfortunately, I haven't tested clients that specifically. No worries, I can look into it though. But I appreciate the suggestion. down here now. Sometimes you just gotta change the scene, you know? Yeah, that mushroom does not block that laser. Rude.
Did you throw it? Oh, you did get a legend chest, right? Yeah, I got Aegis. Yeah, this is just absurd. Okay. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I don't want fucking item anyway. I hate Spent 8,000 on that one <laughs> chance, right? Fucking. It's worth it, though. I got nothing, you know? <laughs> and you got less because there are chests that you could still open. It's just what you always wanted. Yeah, but then I killed like two enemies and now I have a thousand money. Ooh, this is tempting. What's the cooldown on this? 70 seconds? Hmm. I wish I could tell the difference better between the red and the orange items mm -hmm. and the yellow items. Because basically anytime the cycler like comes up on any of those, it's like, well, it's not white or green. The two colors I can see pretty easily, so <laughs> there's a chance. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. How dare. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, take us into the land of the blue anus. Thanks for the carry. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that was dicey there. Oh, 57 Leaf Clover, huh? Yeah. What does the Clover do? Uh, it rolls... Anytime you roll something, it rolls it twice and takes the higher result. Which includes crits. Yeah, so crits, like procs. On hit command, yeah, on hit procs. Yeah. Uh, so it rolls it twice, takes the better value. Yeah. Cool. Seems nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm ready. Me too. This defiant gouge was somehow the last item that I haven't picked up. Oh. So, mm -hmm. after this run, I will have picked up every item. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know how I've never picked this up, but all right. I guess it's probably because I knew what it did. I think I looked it up and was like, oh, I don't want that. And then so just never picked it up. Oh, is that a fuel cell? It is. Oh no. All on chance effects expect teddy bears. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense.
thought I saw a shrine of the mountain over here. I found one. Terrible placement for that shop. Wow, a sh try shop with two wax quails in it? Oh boy. So lost I here's lenses, wait. if anyone wants that. Where'd those fucking bugs go? So that chat notification that says player name has summoned parents to fight definitely has meme potential, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can think of some ways one might accomplish such a thing. Come on, I need to get out of here. Get out of there. Save yourself. Very spicy over here.
I think we should activate the teleporter because I think the map is pretty much clear. Where is it at? Oh, uh, right here. Mm, headed that way. An equipment drone up here? Did no one want the um, Lost Series lenses? Nah. Okay, I'm at the boss. Going to hit it. Ouch. This is probably going to be pretty rough. Yeah. That's not good. If we can just get uh, Lizzie to be the last. Oh shit, I've I'm dead. What I was saying before I was interrupted by my death is we sh if only we could get uh, Lizzie to be the last hit kill of the Overloading Worm. That's <laughs> to unlock one of the alternate abilities for that character. This is true. Very difficult to do, though. I think it has to be on... It doesn't have to be on stage 7 or later, though. It just says okay. an Overloading Worm. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my goodness. I suppose it could be unstated. Um, in the achievement, but all it says is, yeah, final, final okay. hit on overloading worm. I guess I we just don't usually see survive. worms until, uh, mm -hmm. looping, but we had two mountains at 40 minutes, so. Oh shit! Oh no. The worm. That was a big hit. Came right to me. <laughs> oh boy. I was trying so hard to avoid it. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna use this opportunity to go try and grab some food real quick. I'm gonna leave my screen up so they can watch Jair play. <laughs> um, and if I'm not back by the time we move on, then you can just keep going. No worries if I die. And I'll have my headset so I can still chat and listen. I say I don't know if I can kill the overloading magma worm. Well, let me know whatever happens. It's so pretty though. Sounds like you're doing real great. I'm surviving, but it is leveling up faster than I am dealing damage to it. Surely that doesn't that doesn't s s uh, mean doom for your attempt. <laughs> Toxic Jester confirms there is no stage requirement for the okay. thing. 
So that's good. Let's see if this works. Ah, that is unfortunate. Okay. Oh! Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I heard that from up here. Yeah, just one shot to negative 300. Big Delightful. oof. Yeah. Good try, though. Mm hmm. Very good try. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go BRB. While I finish making food. Would you like me to? I can finish up making the food for you as well. Oh, sure. Yeah. I am here to help. It's almost done, actually. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I am back. You want to try doing another one? Are you here, Jer? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just responding to student emails. Oh, no worries. Take your time. Uh, I do. Let me use the restroom real quick. With that ah, okay. Sounds good.
Alright, I'll be right back. Sounds good. Let's go to the screen. Maybe we can get uh, Lizzie to to try out the captain. I feel like it's going to take a couple of rounds before she starts to get comfortable with it anyway, so. Sounds fun. Just, just looking at these different characters. I wish you could get a sneak peek of what the other skins looked like without them being unlocked. Oh, I was incorrect when I told Lizzie how to unlock the last skin. It's different for every character, I think, or I misread. Oh, because I was looking. I assumed. That's my bad. Well, it's definitely easier than we expected. But yeah, we'll just, uh, we're waiting for Jer, and then after Jer comes back, we'll, uh, go get to another run. Hope you're doing good, chat. I am back. Welcome back. I am also back. Welcome back. Ah, you good? Hmm. Well, that is good to consider. Um, so it looks like two purities will reduce the cooldown of 
serrated blade to one second. Oh. So if we just get you two purities and then uh yeah two two purities and then have you just stand behind the boss and just go go at it yeah it's gonna be hard to not take the boss's attention and make it turn towards me no this is the scene I'm on we're not certain playing yet Hi, Drusy. Thank you. For, thank you for letting me know, though. Hi, Drusy. Bizarro Stormy. I am Bizarro Stormy. I'm regular Hello, Stormy. Stormy. Welcome in, Stormy. I'm just eating real fast. Okay, I'm done eating. <clears throat> I have water. That'll be fine. That sounds great, honey. You ready, Jer? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Commando's fun too. The other night when you were playing Commando and I was dead, I was watching your screen, you had like an insanely high fire rate. It was really cool. Uh, I think you're muted on Discord. Oh, interesting. I must have hit that button on accident, maybe. Well, I'm not dis I'm not anymore. <laughs> yeah, Commando is really fun. Sometimes you can just get like, oh, it's just, just you get into the flow of it, you know? So mobile, it's nice. Not like that mobile, but like mobile enough. Good shooty shoots.
Hope you enjoy the playing that character, honey. So far, so good. I, I love the uh, I love the handgun. I feel just like um, you know that that dickhead that we don't like from that movie we do like. <laughs> Ooh, that you're gonna have to narrow it down, unfortunately. <laughs> like James Woods from Videodrome. Mm. <laughs> I feel just like James Woods, but not like not really. You know, just like in the fun way where my hand is a gun. <laughs> I wish I knew what that uh, felt like, you know? <laughs> um, and then so for captains, like, the R's that he has, um, you can only call them down once per map. Twice, it says. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but, so you, but you have two different, like, towers, basically. Like, there's one that heals and one that stuns in a field around it. Okay. So you, you only get each of those... Yeah, you get two healing ones or two stun ones or one of each. Mm -hmm. um, but two total between all of them. Yeah. Okay. Teleporter here. And go to a printer. So I guess I'm looking for a purity? Yeah. What exactly does that do? Uh, so it, it gives you bad luck um, and sh uh, shaves two seconds off all of your skill cooldowns. Oh. Yeah. But I need to get um, like 57 leaf clovers to uh, get rid of the bad luck if I wanted to? Uh, yeah, potentially. Um, but, I mean, as long as you stand behind it, you should just be able to crit 100% of the time and then not have to worry about it too much or just get an ocular HUD as well. Mm -hmm. um, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know why I keep playing Railgunner. Every time I play them, I'm just like, I hate this character. I want to like them so bad. Oh, thank you for the gift sub, Hypno. That's, that's adorable that Robo gets my emotes for a minute. Huzzah! For a month it. Oh, we do have the chat screen still. Oh, well. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Drusy, Drusy was right, Drusy just not at the time correct. that they were. <laughs> You are too early. Wait, wait a little bit longer next time. You have a prophecy. <laughs> Although I guess it's not a prophecy if it's on time, is it? Hmm. Okay. Only the witch Druciform could do it. Could predict it. Drew's a witch form. Sounds like a, a delicious sandwich. Mm. Ooh, we're generating scrap. That reminds me of a bad joke. Uh, why can no one starve in the desert? Because of all the sandwiches? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's a classic. <laughs> yeah, all the sandwiches there. So good. <laughs> Get a lot like of garbage. I do good damage at all. <laughs> um so if you if you hold left click it'll charge up and become more accurate. Okay. Um and his yeah, shift skill is really strong. Okay. I guess I don't I don't really understand how to use uh, the th the right click and shift necessarily yet. Uh, so the shift just shoots out like a little projectile that stuns things that hit it, hit it. Uh, it doesn't really deal damage, but sh you just press shift and you like start you like h put a targeting beacon down, and then mm -hmm. each time you left click up to three times, it'll shoot a blast down from space. Okay. That does a lot of damage. It's definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to, I think. 
Yeah. It's it's not the same. It's just hold left click like the the commando. But definitely droid friends are gonna help too. Yeah. Yeah, which I have found exactly none <laughs> the entire time so far. Yeah, I haven't really seen any droids either. You will though. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm bored to death playing this character, which I think this is like why I don't play characters other than Commando because I find them really boring. But that's okay. Here, here to try it. And people are allowed to be boring. Everybody else in this game is boring except for Commando. I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. You married me. I'm boring. That's a lie. You're not boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bore a thing from time to time. Well, there's one. Ripped <laughs> those have actually starved in the desert. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Reckon we should rather fight the boss. Yeah, it feels pretty picked over. Tried to work on game, but brain don't want to, me want to, me brain not so. Sometimes that's that's just how it is, unfortunately. It's true. Have you considered maybe taking on a, an aspect of the game that you want to work on that is uh, more appropriate for your brain? Like, is there some sort of an art asset or anything you can work on that might work better? An art over the logic? Because sometimes logic is just hard to do. Maybe a music? Maybe you could do a, a unique music to, to a, an aspect of the game? Absolutely. Sometimes you really do just need to take a break. I think that, um, especially when you're working on something at all creative, you know, like it's, you, you can't push it all the time. And, and if you're not feeling it for whatever reason, even if you want to be doing it, but you're like not feeling it, I think that's exactly the sign that your brain is saying, hey, take a break in some way, right? Because sometimes you take a break, you start taking a break, and then you go, ooh, immediately I want to work on this thing as soon as you tell yourself to take a break, which sometimes works. Or sometimes you take a break and you feel like, ooh, yes, ah, good, I took that break and now I feel so much better. I have been trying to be really sensitive to, at least for my own creative needs, like if I'm you know, wanting to create, but just kind of not feeling it. Like, there are a lot of ways uh, that I have found personally to um, uh, to make it easier to, like, to continue to be creative, I guess, without forcing it, you know? Because I, I just cannot force myself. If I'm not, like, really, really feeling it, I cannot make myself be creative. But I can do things to help I'm my sure creative feelings yep. continue, you know? And to cultivate them. Well, that didn't last long. Yeah, Jared almost one shot it. Almost. <clears throat> well, I basically got the boss killer build. I got a crowbar and two <laughs> armor piercing rounds on the first set, <laughs> like first level, so. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. I 
lunar key all the way back over there. Alright. I think it's pretty picked over. Yeah, I think we should go. Okay. Alright, it's already almost 12 minutes. Yeah. Jam out, Stormy. Well, I should try to use this Trovi Hannah's Tricorn when I get a chance. <laughs> There's a 57 okay. leaf closer. I mean, the bigger thing is the, the purity. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Um, It's like a little spiky... Like the ball on the end of a mace. Oh, yeah. we saw one of those in the last run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one. There it is, yeah. Get it, Stormy. So then one more should theoretically mean you can just get it. Do we want to get Ovis Convergence? Uh, so if we, well, if we buy that, there's less items that can roll into purity. So we'll wow. just to see how it didn't re-roll that true. slot we bought mm -hmm. from. Yeah. There's the other one. Woo. Oh man. I could I could just end the game for me right now. I can do it. <sighs> <laughs> no one could stop me. Nobody would stop you. Okay. But yeah, so it should be just a one second cooldown now. Oh my god, the Chthonic Sea Stormy. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. You did it. The sea Sonic. Um, hmm. I could technically get one of these 57 leaf clovers, but I don't know if it's worth it. Um, not. yeah, it doesn't really affect anything. I guess, yeah, the first one would be, would still put, I would still be negative, and then the second one I would be zero, so it would be a big waste. Yeah. I'm not getting anything until the third one. Right. Although, um, each one is one less roll, right? Because if you have negative two, it rolls it twice? Yeah. Yeah, it'll roll it, well, it'll roll it three times and then take the lowest. Ooh, there's a clipboard here. Mm. Two, oh, two clipboards in the same shop. <laughs> if somebody can find mom's credit card. Oh, and a scrapper. Yeah, right. My god. Ooh. Yeah, I'm assuming, is that the shop you just saw? Mm hmm Two clipboards? Whole bunch of shops right around here, actually. There's like four of them. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the art in my honors, Stormy. It's beautiful. Now, fingers crossed we don't get uh, another shitty boss for trying to get close to. Yeah, as long as it's not uh, uh, 
the pots. It should be okay. <laughs> Is that a teleporter? I guess I should still look for a um backup mags probably. One or uh, two yeah, back might help. Uh, actually, funnily enough, uh, I think attack speed is potentially slightly better. Um, because it increases the rate at which you can actually like complete the animation. Another scrapper. Well, I do have three uh soldier surges. Okay, then yeah, that's probably and two fine. mochas. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good then. A crowbar. Yeah, I'm really finally funny. seeing my ability to do a notable amount of damage. That's nice. Good. Yeah. Excellent. I don't know if I like, uh, you know, not being able to move around nice and fast, but we'll see. Don't really have any drones yet. <laughs> Fewer drones than I usually have by stage two. Yeah. Which is sad. <laughs> yeah, the thing with Captain is like, he basically is like a late game immortal carry, mm -hmm. where like the further the game goes on, the more impossible he is to like do anything to. Yeah. A Jasmine 3D printer. Uh, we should probably start the teleporter, and then we can just run around and grab items real quick at the end. Great. Okay, I'm there. Okay, then let's do it. And then if it's a Dune Strider, we'll just, uh... Okay. Oh, sorry. He died uh, instantly. I did, I guess I should have realized that was going to kill it instantly, huh? Mm, maybe. It was like, oh, use your well, use your equipment. There's, and it, there's it, another one. Oh, this is true. Does he have any stacks? Fifteen. 16? 17? Nope. Uh, Didn't quite get that. How many? Yeah, 20, you 20 right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, at least it's a good proof of concept. Yeah. We were getting up there. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, and it'll also get easier the further we are into the the game. Yeah. So. As long as we don't run into a continual problem like worms and imps and. Yeah. Well, the imps, the imps not as bad. Imps, I uh, mean, it's off the ground, so it's really hard for me to actually hit. Oh, yeah, I guess it does kind of just, like, float. Because I have to be it's within range for this. Yeah. Literally, the golem is the best target, but we might still run into one of those. Uh, Be Beetle Guard's good, too. Or Beetle Queen. Mm. Um, and then, uh... Grove Tender. Well, and honestly, like, the later we go... Oh, well, I guess it depends on how much damage I do, but... Like, I can just kill regular enemies too. Like it just—it's any enemy with 20, 20 stacks. Oh, oh yeah, for sure then. Yeah, that's that's easy peasy. All right, I I do have the magic hat though, so if anybody finds an equipment drone, very mm -hmm. important. I'll let you know. You and all your allies. I have Gorag's Opus. If we, I guess that'll just help for boss fights and stuff. Yeah, Gorag's is always good. I found both switches. Rip bitches. <gasps> you didn't. 
He did. Keep forgetting that the uh, 3D printers put the item in my inventory already. Oh, is there uh, a good th a green 3D printer? I have a regenerating scrap. All I've seen so okay. far is this cro uh, chrono bubble. Yeah, I think that's the only one on this level. I'm gonna run back to the start area and see if there's anything over there. Uh, I just was there, there isn't. How many tougher times is does it make sense to have? Like, is four good or is is doesn't does it matter? I think I mean, more than more than yeah. nine is not a huge deal. I think. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, like, there's no item that like it's worse the more you have it. Cool. So unless you like, there's like a 3D printer and you're trying to like, be like, how many of my items should I crush into crit <laughs> goggles or something? Um. What's cool about Railgunner, though, is that having bonus, like, above 100% crit is good, because Railgunner converts crit hit into crit damage. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Spicy. But you're going to take like all this. my crit items that I need. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the problem with the, the Soldier Syringe and the crit goggles are just good on every character. Yeah. Alright, oh, I am ready whenever you guys are. I'm gonna I'm also ready. I'm gonna turn this uh regenerating scrap into chrono bubble and then convert the chrono bubble into scrap. Oh hang on. I need to buy one of these shipping requests forms over here. Uh-huh. Okay. Now I'm, I'm ready. I'm almost ready. Is there a scrapper? Yes. There's one here, and then there's another one uh, close to the boss as well. On like, oh. on the other side of the canyon. Yeah, Kavonik's got it. I can't convert that Chrono Bubble because I already have the uh, corrupted Chrono Bubble. Ah, uh, yep. Forgot to pick that up like first thing. Mm. All right, well, I'm ready to go whenever y'all are. Just let me know and I'll hit the button. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, I'm going to hit the button then. Push the button, Frank. Poof. Okay. This level, I think, is either dunes or beetles, so... I've definitely seen the um, the tea kettles in this one before, I think. Yeah. Keep, I keep getting armor piercing rounds, which I don't really want right now. Hey chat, you're cute. There is a med kit 3D printer.
cute chat club. I feel cursed. I feel like I always find a lot of drones and always go, oh wow, yay, drones! And now here I am playing a character where that's sort of the point, and um, mm. drones sleep. Yeah, I haven't really. I feel like I've not seen any drones. Same. I, I have seen one healing drone, and I have it. <laughs> Super bad luck. Right? It's probably sure, because of this fucking 50, enemies. this negative 2 luck I have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I found the boss. Oh, here's a drone. Incinerator drone. Oh, cool. Oh, no, that's a radio scanner. I don't think I've seen oh. that one before. I'll give you the, the map data for the oh. map. Medkit 3D printer. Okay, should we fight the boss soon, or do we have more things to to, to work at? Uh, I think we're probably ready. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Where are you? Mm, oh God! To be she. Yeah. Oh, that ain't happening. I want to just murder it then. Yeah, just do it. There's no way I can reach it. Oof. Ouch. 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 Stop doing that. Oh my god. No. Oh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> no, Stormy. It is you. Wait. It's all of us. Everyone here. So cute. Too cute. Stormy is a part of y'all. It's true. Oh, uh, and the defense nucleus dropped. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This run is cursed for me. I think we should start over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the curse is that I picked another character. I'm not going to lie. I think that's that's really... It's like the lucky socks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, who should take the defense nucleus then? Uh, I I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it's something that could theoretically shoot your enemy. Like, shoot and kill the boss instead of you, right? Doing the world a favor. Um, you can take both those death marks, though. Okay. Since you apply debuffs. Um, there's one chest I know still. Is it my so, chest? Uh, oh. I don't, well, I don't know your chest, so I, <laughs> I can't say that. Oh, and there's a shrine over there, too. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a focus crystal here. You wanna grab that? I'm never really close enough, I don't think, but I'll grab it. Well, the blade thing's melee, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, that is, yeah. So you're gonna you want me to kill the boss with it, I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um I mean we're at the point now where like I think hitting it twenty times is not gonna kill it. So uh, Is it going meteorite? Oh yeah. Ooh. There's the real run ender. <laughs> Everyone loves the glowing meteorite. Who's shooting at me? Stop that. There is an Azure. Hey, and Azure. The cuties arrive. Bonus cuties. Bringing up the rear. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you ready to. Yeah. Skedaddle. Skid skidurdle. Skitter critter. <laughs> Launch myself into the void. I did it. <laughs> so good at video games. I can fall off any cliff. Present it and I shall fall <laughs> off it. You just did, I see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is getting another purity does it will it lower my cool down to zero? Uh I don't know. I don't know how it stacks. Uh, let me look it up. Well, we've got Azure here. Azure, if I get three purities, will it make my right click have a zero cooldown? Can it ever lower to zero? Because if, if I can make you go burr. So, theoretically, maybe? How much hurt would it do to just pick it up? Yeah, it's not linear, it's <laughs> diminishing, right? No, it says linear. Gives you a linear stack of minus one luck and a linear uh, minus one cooldown. Oh, you mean purity is linear? Yes, yeah. What were we talking about? All skill cooldowns are reduced by two, plus one per stack seconds. All random effects are rolled, plus one times the unfavorable outcome. So it is linear. So if we got one more, it would be zero? Oh, There's well, how about two more? Fucking two of them. All right. There's one more. I, th I don't think between the third one and the fourth one it made a difference, but it is very quick. Okay. Perfect. Wonderful. So I have the worst luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're you're <laughs> you can have ninety percent crit like nine goggles and just, like <laughs> have like I don't know what that would be low though. <laughs> Can't get over the global cooldown, yeah. So I think three would have been the number. The extra bad luck down is probably a bad call, but that's fine. Here's the chest. <laughs> and look at all these glowing red things. I mean gray. Yeah, you I tell don't, me, Jer, what color are they anyway? I don't I don't see any mushrooms. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking <laughs> be Oh be shit. Ahoy mush everyone. Mushroom gaslit. Oh yeah, you found an equipment drone. I did. Where are these? Oh, there's titans somewhere. I summoned titans. You can you can beat those up. There are a lot of enemies here. Oh god. Oh no. I'm trying not to hit the titans. 18? 19? 20? Okay, you just gotta kill it. I did it. Yeah! Woo! Chi Chi huzzah! We did it! We did it. Now I can forget about this curse. I just, I wanted the ranged version. It just seems like it's way more beneficial to my playstyle. But we'll see. Maybe I'll hate it. Oh man. How's how's it going? 
Miss Mr. Vagrant. What you doing over there? You just minding your own business? <laughs> Aww. We can't have that. Do uh, attack speed add-ons reduce the global cooldown, or is there just a set global cooldown that you can't go past? I think attack speed lowers it. I could be wrong, though. Oh, shit. I just got hit for a lot. Hello. Oh, have a good, uh, have a good lay down on the couch. Hypno, thanks so much for hanging out. Oh, yeah. Hope you feel better. I uh, I personally am down to play more. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I'm definitely down to play more. Yeah, I, I think I'm down to play more. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, do you want to just, like, rush through this level since... Sure. Uh, Lizzie hates the captain. And, uh... <laughs> I don't hate the captain. I, I am enjoying playing this character, but I am yeah. sad about the lack of drones, and I that think is that's true. just a luck issue. Yeah. Um, well then let's find the old, uh, teleporter, and we'll see if we can obliterate or... I love that I have zero cooldown on my R as well. Can I rebind my R to my left click? <laughs> I mean, prob probably? <laughs> it just does way more damage than my, than my left click does. And it has no cooldown. I found the teleporter. I shall engage the activation of the teleporter. Thor's hammer? No? I can't even see where you are on the map, Jer. Uh, I am underneath. Oh. Yes. Oh! Thank goodness! <laughs> I was looking everywhere! <laughs> Kept missing you. Hey, 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 hey! Stop that. You cut that out. Oh no. I might die. Probably gonna die. Oop. I mean to go up here. I guess it's safer though. Welcome back, Jackie! Hope you had a good uh, good time at the movie. We're also still here. Still here? I didn't know we could leave. No, and you can't move. You have to stay still. I, that's not gonna happen. I can't not shake my legs underneath my table incessantly while playing video games. I mean, that's not the same as moving. That's just a bisexual thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God. I hate all of those memes that are just like... <laughs> Called like, out completely. Well, like, where it's just like, like a normal thing. And it's just like, it's like, I had no idea that other people also breathed, and apparently that's a bisexual thing. <laughs> it's like, oh. It means you're gay, it's very simple. Yeah, exactly, it's just like, oh my gosh. Very simple indeed. The thing that you just said, Jer, it's homophobic. 
That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> So this whole time, I have absolutely no idea how to get to where you guys are. There's a big hole somewhere that you can just drop down. Yeah. Yeah. You can just hit the teleporter when you're done. I'm not. I'm promising you right now. I'm not going to find it. <laughs> uh, if you like, if you come over here. See my tag. I just tagged. Yeah. I just tagged the opening. The orifice opening. Find out? Yeah, really worth it for a stealth kit. I'm so glad I came down here <laughs> instead of buying things upstairs. Well, you learned a valuable lesson about map layout. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't learn I, things. You know this. I think a big we all hole learned me a valuable up. lesson about not being homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We did. I do. I do think we did learn that. I love you guys. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> I really hope that that uh, other skill is worth all that effort, because that was annoying. Do we want to go to... Oh, we can't. Never mind. The shop thing was up in there. Tesla coil. Mm. Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got there, Azure. Okay, are we clear? Are we cleared out? Yeah. Did, did you get the legendary chest? Yeah, I did. I feel like so, I haven't gotten anything. Is there a green 3D printer by chance? Uh, I have not seen one, because I also have a regenerating scrap. Hmm. I think it's, it's, it's big green holding us down. Oh, there's another chest down here if someone wants to open it. Bet it has a red in it. I can feel it. Come on, I got way too much money. It's got a white in it. A banner. Ooh, Everyone's least better. favorite. Did I you like say, war banners. Did you say even better? Yeah, I mean, some reds are bad. Most reds are better than War Banner. I feel like that could be true. <laughs> I feel Here's like that is a... Honey, uh, a drone. Yeah, the equipment drone died. Oh, you can... I'm, if you I find... I don't even know where it is. It just disappeared right away. Oh. Probably from that cursed... Uh... Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. But I don't have the equipment anymore, so... Rip. Yeah. Rip the hoy hat. This run is cursed. This run is cursed. It's a cursed run. We're going to meet the, the curse king at the end of it. <laughs> right, let's look at it. Let's look at the red items. Which ones do I think? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, War banner is better than bottled chaos. And better than 
that's it. It's better than Bottled Chaos. There you go. <laughs> There's a scrapper here if anyone wants to uh, scrap some things. Like oh, war banners. Is it, is uh, it near where you are? Hey, Denny. What, what was that question, honey? The, the drone, is it near where you are? It's where? below where I am. I can go back down there in just a second. Okay, I have no idea how to get anywhere. <laughs> I went down, I got lost. It's right here? Yeah. Oh, there's a missile drone right here. Yeah, that's that's what I was... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What I was tagging. Huzzah. And there's a chant shrine over here. Okay, great. That is cursed. Wow. Wow. So glad y'all are hanging out and having a great time. Yay! What is that? What is that? Roll a roll, roll pennies. There you go, that's the build. Roll <laughs> pennies, crowdfunder, <laughs> alt F4. You can't lose. I'm by the. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, me too. I've been ready since before I picked up that fucking stealth kit. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, I scrapped it. Joke's on you, I'm going to die immediately next round. <laughs> Not if you kept yeah, the stealth kit. Not even on purpose. That's true, yeah. Oh, there's a drone. <laughs> equipment drone. Yep, don't have any of that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Gave it to the other equipment drone that died immediately, that fucker. <laughs> It was just trying to be friendly. It really was, and it didn't work out. Wow, the enemies are so strong now. <laughs> oh my goodness. They seem, they seem normal to me. Am I the carry? Maybe. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, I apparently I almost died or something? Yeah, there's a wisp shooting at you. Didn't even hear a whisper of it. Woohoo! Yeah, it was honestly pretty great, that wisp. Found another scrapper. Oh great, I got a delicate watch. I mean, we're at the point where delicate watches are like mandatory. Ooh, forgive me, please. I just constantly take a lot of damage. Yeah. Boom. You call me John Shot John. Boss one shotty no. because no I I one shotty the no. boss when I hit the body. No, Jared, you can stop. And it's so naughty. No, my boss one shotty. I'm, I'm I'm sorry, but no. People think I'm a real hottie. I'm, well, I'm aboard my one shotty bossy yachty. I mean that's yacht 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 t yacht. There's there's some way to make that sound you're like a real. You're sentence. still going. I am. I cannot be halted. That is the truth. Oh no, there's a big scary crab. Crabs aren't scary. This one is.
This is not my life. Oh god, who is hurting my body? Oh, my my boss one shoddy body got <laughs> taken to the potty. That's what happens when you don't shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> The bossy heard you talking naughty. Well, I I couldn't close my mouth with my boss when shoddy body because I was eating too many biscotti. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, frontal lobotomy, 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 body me. Uh, right, blame the biscotti. Okay. Mm -hmm. Homophobic. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to be right back and get a little snack. So I'll be right back. Snack, be right back. <laughs> you, you chased Hypno away. Appropriate, appropriate. Is a healing drone? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a little bit, I've been a little bit stuck up here. Um, I, I, I guess I will. It's two actually over here. I'll make my way down now that I can. Whoa. Not being able to just freely jump <laughs> off of high heights is a little, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like that everyone was joining in on me telling Jared to stop. Can't go to negative numbers, Jackie, so it's okay. You sure I do okay damage? Not great, but okay damage, but I sure can't take too many hits. Bit of a lightweight, if you ask me. Oh, I found the teleporter. It's fucking up here? Oh. Well, okay then. So it is. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi, Thanks. welcome back. We found the teleporter. It's up here. Hey. I just got hit. I already did the um, the thing so that we loop instead of fight the boss. Oh god. Pick up the... Oh, hi. Don't you fucking do it. Oh, that one seems really useful. Hmm? What is the other mod you downloaded this year? Is that a Zeus kitty? Oh, Zeusy goose. Well, was it? Don't leave us yeah. all hanging. Was. Well, I'm as ready to summon the boss as I think I will ever be, which is not very. I was hoping to get rid of some of these fucking brass bells first. Oh my god, what are you? Oh, a void zone too? All right, well, I'm gonna hit it, you ready? Sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a grandpa. Oh, God. Oh, great.
This will be fine. He's dead. That's fine. Oh, what, what killed me? Oh no! What the hell? I was. It was just um, fine. He was. Uh, he became the sun, and every second that you're like in range of him, you get a stacking debuff. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's well, lame. Yeah. Well, it's basically the Genesis loop from the Vagrant, except like a stacking dot instead of like just a big piece of damage. Well, good thing we got uh, a captain mm -hmm. to pull up the line, get us through. Uh, and then I'm army here. Of drones, no less. Uh, they're mostly healing drones. That mean that's Have good. You see that? <laughs> they still they still shoot down projectiles though. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all drones do. Okay, yeah. well. If you're the captain. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, your shift does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Brass bell ends. <laughs> oh. Got him. I saw someone mentioned Nine Inch Nails as well. We are listening, of course, per the pin post, we are listening to Nine Inch Nails and Crystal Castles because of Truziform's wonderful Ask Wonderland question yesterday. They asked, uh, I have the text of it here, they asked, who would you want to do the soundtrack to a version of Alice in Wonderland that perfectly balances or blurs the lines between the surreal and the whimsical aspects of the story. And I thought Tren Reznor and Alice Glass are the two artists that I would like to see work together to create a really, really cool one Island soundtrack. So here we are, listening to them today. All day. And you know, it's really nice. I have never combined these artists before into a playlist and it is really enjoyable. <laughs> I kind of wish that I could go negative numbers on my viewer count. That'd be amazing. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> Especially for an Eldritch streamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're less than nobody watching. <laughs> oh no, don't don't shoot me. Oh, wow, okay. Try to kill me right away. Great. <laughs> boy <laughs> would would negative viewers force like people at twitch to watch ads <laughs> i hope so all right so if i hit r i'm just stuck oh no okay i can i can sprint out of it because i was like well shit i've accidentally hit r a couple of times <laughs> Yeah, I think escape also gets rid of it. Okay. Um. I have some beads of fealty, so if we want to do the obliterate boss. Yeah. We never did that. Sure. Yeah, let's try to do that then. Where's Something the... happens should... literally every time. Yeah, we should we should try to just push through the levels then pretty quickly. Sure. Well, we have, we have teleporter here. Yep. I'm gonna activate it. Do what you want. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh. No, stop it. St yeah. Oh, there's so many.
There's a neural and another fuel cell. I'll take the neural. I don't really want the fuel cell. Also, still need the uh, green 3D printers. I feel like there's so few in this run. Yeah. Alright, then let's shop real quick and then we'll head off yeah. to the next adventure. If you get negative viewers, it actually underflows all viewers' site wide count towards your channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who has the um, uh, lockbox keys right there? Me. Thank you. Hmm. There's a void scent flame there if anyone wants that. Aha! I knew there was another hermit crab. No, you're so low health. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Mm -hmm. I, I I found I found a Malachite. You'll never guess. It's a fucking little statue thing. It's just the been pyramid? Yeah, it's been sitting here by itself. <laughs> just shooting at the ground, not doing anything because it can't move. Oh, uh, there is a credit card here if anyone wants it. Oh. oh. Well, I don't have an equipment. I have a really so. bad equi or equipment that I never use. I probably should use it, but... <laughs> right, I'll take the Opus if you don't want it. What do you have? I have, uh, forgive me not, please. Forgive me, please. I don't care. Whatever. If you want this, I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh. Thank you. And there's an executive card. Ooh. <clears throat> Thanks. Alright. Alright. Oh, oh! Run away! Run away from me! Stop! No! Run away! Run off to your death! Yeah! <laughs> okay. I have no idea how many more of those I need, but that's the last item I have to unlock, because you have to kill 20... Uh... 20... Oh! I think that's the achievement. I think you just got it. Mm-hmm. Strange. Did you not get that one? No, I don't think I've gotten the demons and the crabs yet. You you have you have forced more crabs to commit suicide than I have. <laughs> uh, it's just the my presence. Crabs. Sounds like something from Alice in Wonderland. Like the goth version of Alice in Wonderland. You'll never get your safer spaces to proc without your negative rolls. You should corrupt it. I would if I could. Scrapper. Honestly, the demon and the crabs sounds like a good Chuck Tingle novel. <laughs> Or perhaps the demon with the crabs? Ooh. Red Grinner for a sentient meat hook. Malachite all over the fucking place! Oh. Yeah, there is a lot of Malachite. I wish it would Malago. That would be Mala nice. There's a extra backup mag over here. There's a Molotov. All right, and I have the credit card. So if you find a shop, let me know. Will do. Finally got some speed items too. Yeah. 
my god, just die. I do like this character, but it's not as fun as the commando. In my... In my feeling about it. But I like it. It's nice. I think I think I will have to add this to my usual... Sometimes. Teleporter. Create glasses printer. Ooh, mm -hmm. Ooh yeah, that's good. A scrapper? Mm. Not a shrine. There's a rusty lockbox. I... I'm trying to remember if it was the last level. I think there was a scrapper. Yeah, there's one right here. Um... What do I want to scrap? Or crit glasses. I need those. Now the transcendence over here. Actually, do crit classes even fucking matter if I have such low luck? I mean, you'd have to get, uh, 10. Oh, I can probably do that. Oh god. I can't kill enemies that aren't bosses! <laughs> Especially if they're not at full uh... health. Shit. I got smashed. For a really stupid reason. <clears throat> Is it because you asked me to? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that is is that's a somebody want to clip that? I'll enjoy. Seems like a good and normal reason, but I but I'm here for it. Hmm. What else? Alright, I have 11. Alright, where was that Kirkless 3D printer now? Near the boss. Right next to the teleporter. Oh, where was that boss again? By my corpse. Where was where was <laughs> where was that? Where all of the drones are. You were going. You were headed straight for it. Now you, there you go. No. Oh. Keep, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> oh my God! Just hit it. Just shoot it. Oh god. That hurts. Right next to the teleporter. Big old mean enemies that are hurting me with their hands. They put hands on you? Yeah. I think we should never do that to my baby girl. I just spent all my money on a shrine. I hate my life. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't a like your life shrine, I hope. Oh, jeez, Louise, pop a cheese. Okay, we're good. You pop a nice cheese over there? Healing drone. Stormy, do you need to do you need VIP for link posting? Stormy's not VIP. What the hell am I doing with I, my apparently. life? Apparently. Oh my God, I just don't do enough damage to kill these 
Enemies. Oh no, I'm dead. Uh, I would make Stormy VIP, but I don't actually know how to do that, so... <laughs> uh, you just, you just slash VIP. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh crap. I don't know if you can oh, do it crap. as a... Oh, hey, you're VIP, Stormy. See the little diamond? <laughs> Thank you for the clip. That adds five minutes to the to the subacathon. You have a, a lot of ukuleles going on there. Yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. Got hit by one... Uh, one burn stack, and that was that was it for old Jer. <laughs> yeah, you got demons in the crabs. I did. That's the one I need. Oh, I Good wonder champion. if it only does it only track it for host. It might. Oh, that might be. I hate it when games do that, but it could happen. It's happened before. Demon and crab. Semen. Oh, it does less per less damage. That's ah, whatever. Get in here, Azure. I didn't say anything about only tracking for host. Wow. I, I, I think that means that they just closed that wall and killed that kid in the matrix <laughs> <laughs> i think that's what that was hello hello Hi. i'm actually gonna go run and get a drink real quick does anyone need anything chat chat you need anything you need a coke juice? i'll take a coke coke yeah you want need like a juice a juice box or anything i go for a capri sun Ooh, i got some of those yeah all right i'm leaving what, what was that kid's name was it mouse Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> oh. Asher, you're right. Hypno would like a caprese salad. I think we can whip that up for you. Is that how you say that? Uh that's that's what I that's what I have been uh instructed by other people who have said it out loud around me. And I have been like, okay, that's how you say that. So, I that's how caprice. other people have said it. It was like a Capri salad where you just have Capri on. <laughs> Capri salad. Oh, it is Caprese. Caprese, it's apparently Italian. It, that does make sense that it is it's an Italian word. There you go. There you go. Uh, so make sure to get some of these balls in your Caprese <laughs> salad. <laughs> oh, that's curse. That's that's a bad time for everyone involved. Of course, if you're going to talk in a funny Italian accent, you should really make some homage to the uh, the fairy tale theater episode with uh, Pinocchio with Pee Wee Herman. It's very important. Thank you, honey. I, don't I just have watched enough Pee Wee Herman. To... I just fucking hacky sack caught with my foot a can of soda <laughs> as it fell out of my hand. That's pretty cool. Did you give me that one? No. <laughs> no. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Caprizi you're, you're, salad. Uh, you need more oats in there. It should be it should be where are my oat capris and oat wash down my oat capri oat z with a cup oat sun. There you go. Now it sounds like chair. Also throw a few like trash or garbages in there. 
And a like or two. And an oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys! Want me to appraise you that could praise me? Need some like, hey, oh, this guy here wants me to uh, appraise you the caprizi, hey! <laughs> there it is. You know, I, I have to say a lot, you know, a lot of people, you know, talk about, like, sexiest accents. And I, I gotta say, they're like, they're like, hey, I'm, I'm walking here. Like, that, like, obnoxious Italian accent. Mm. That's Boston, isn't it? No, it's like the, I mean, I can't do it very well, but it's like that New Yorker, like, like, hey, oh, this fucking guy. Like that. Because mm. Boston is I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Boston and drink my coffee and. And and go to the the basketball game for the 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 the, the Celts because we've been Boston like I don't know that's, that's... I'm Chris Pantsmario. Yeah, like that's 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 Boston. I don't. I've never been to Boston. I don't. I don't know anything about it. But I assume <laughs> I could. I couldn't tell. I, I assume that that's what it's like. I uh well I also haven't been to. Are we all going to be a captain? <laughs> The A-Cab squad. I, I have a friend who has a cousin from Boston. And so in middle school, that's where I learned the Boston accent. Mm. So I think, Jer, your your assessment of Boston, from what I have learned from my friend whose cousin is from Boston, <laughs> is appropriate and true. <laughs> well, there we go. Nick got it and won. <laughs> Double captain. We still one away from two hundred followers, yeah. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get there again. We we'll rebuild. You show me who unfollowed. I will break the legs. I had two unfollows like right after. It was really funny. And by funny, I mean I collapsed. So sad. She did. Hey, Lizzie. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have the alternative. Uh, don't stand in this. But this is the alternative shift for Captain. As mm -hmm. you can see, it takes mm -hmm. a very long time to come down. Yep. Okay. Down it comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But oh, it does, hello. It does, I think, like a thousand percent damage. Ouchie, ouch. And it has friendly Ooh. fire. Yeah. <laughs> cool, fun. <laughs> Sounds great. Stormy, I'm so glad you love it. It's look, sometimes like I said, sometimes you just get psychic vibrations from like an alternate dimension and um you know, it takes it takes a few weeks or a month or two to bring them through fully, but you know. If anyone would like to see what we're talking about, it's in uh it's in Stormy's Discord. I can post it in the mini mall too as well. Also, in addition, bonus. Bonus. You know it. Bonus soda. Found a gunner drone down there. Offered to the shrine and gained nothing. So there's an item from Risk of Rain One, which was the unlucky dice, which would give you a stacking damage buff for every shrine that didn't pay out. But if it paid out, it would reset. Hmm. And I miss it. Uh, it's kind of cute. Portal is there. I can't ping it, but it's there. I got the executive card, but I have like no money, so. There's a shop here. For when you do have money. Oh, there's, there's also a tri shop here, too, and also a bunch of other chests. 
Uh, we can probably start the teleporter and make enough to clear out the... Mm -hmm. All these chests. We like Mucinex. <laughs> Where's the uh, these chests? Where's the teleporter at? Have we found it? Right here. My friend doesn't ah. get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> is it Mucinex is that uh It's like the the the, the phlegm thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... Decongestant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cure, thank you for the raid. Welcome, oh, welcome. Speaking of decongestant, how was how was the the rave night? Oh, I would love if Cure would would remix this uh, raid song. Very hard, very style, very drum. Nice and bass. Ooh. Wow. Wonderful. Sounds excellent. We love it, Cure. Oh no, I have the wrong poison. No. Any spears? I wish. No, I have the one that can't kill things. Thanks for thanks for the raid, Cure. That's so, so sweet of you. How are you doing? Shall we start gonna... the, the boss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't stand in the big red circle. <laughs> no, it's gonna die before it lands! <laughs> yeah, that's what always happens. Oh, you'll... Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So I got pushed by an enemy into the circle and almost oh. died. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you did well, sign a waiver before um, playing with me, though. That yeah. old we we all did not... sign that waiver, yeah. yeah. That happened. I waved it away, actually. Huh. <laughs> you waved the waiver. Mm -hmm. Does anyone That's want fair. a beetle, beetle buddy? Beetle bug? No. Better get the the buff that Captain gives, I assume. Oh no, I it's only so. drones. Yeah. yeah. Beetle buddy is honestly the worst. Oh, spare oh, drone can, parts. Look at Ooh. that. You little. Look who that's for. Little captains. Not me. <laughs> Some someone should take this magazine here. Yeah, I the thought Symphonic would probably pick it up. No, I'm done Just... with that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, how do you like the ranged version? Uh, it's. I think I like it better, just because it's a lot more versatile than the, the, the melee one. Because the melee one is really... You have to be really close, and most of the time it just fucking misses. Is it melee? Huh? You have to be in melee range. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's not as good. So it's a little... Oh my Wet god. Coil. So, <laughs> I can't even, like, explain this picture, but it's very cute. I have this, like, ribbon toy that Zeus likes to play with that I keep, like, stuck in a hole in my desk. So mm -hmm. it, like, just dangles down. And he pulled it over to the door and then has it between his paws underneath his face and then it's just fallen asleep. But, like, it's, <laughs> it's completely... The ribbon is like almost completely taut. <laughs> so he truly got like, it. Yeah, he's like, I, I want to sleep, but I don't want to be in here because it's loud, but I don't want to <laughs> leave my ribbon, so I will get as far away as I can with the ribbon. Um, let me upload this into, is there like a cat, the, the pet picks channel in the... Cutie alert. Cutie alert, okay. All right, now let's see if I can figure out how to upload an image here to Discord. Gambling uh, time. My, uh, my grandson right, showed I'm me out of money. I don't know if I can... Okay, here we go. Okay. Can 
And when I actually first got this, he would just drag it around the house. Like, <laughs> so drag this ribbon attached to this, like, pretty long. It's, like, two feet long, like, white plastic pole. We should probably go. Just drag it around the house. Does right, anyone have 55 it. for that? Uh, I do. I am out. This uh, chant shrine is a uh, 99 as well. Yeah, I tried my luck and... Me and the kids are eating cardboard soup for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got $99, but a $99 isn't one of those... Those Oh, I'm a Pearson Take that. Alright, I'm ready. I'm at the teleporter, ready Hit whenever it. we are all ready. We are all poor. Okay. Great. You see, Asher, I start the kids on cardboard soup. Oh, <laughs> look at that cutie. Oh, what a right. cutie. <laughs> He's so fuzzy. Yeah. I like this level. Wow. Alright, so I still have the uh, executive card, so I'll try Same. to buy out all the... All the multi-shops if I can afford it. Good job. I think One right there, and spawn. And the mushroom level are probably my least two, my two least favorites. I, I love this level. Oh, it's there's too much just verticality and jumping, and I mostly play engineer and captain, both of who are vertically challenged. Teleporter is all the way out here. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it is. Whoa. Are you a kind of animal? A you? Mm hmm. E W E. Like a, oh, yeah, what? It's a female, it's a female sheep. No, I'm I dead. Like to call it my girlfriend. No! There was a rodent who had a frost uh, affectation who then exploded when it died and it killed me. It froze me in place and then killed me. I hate that. Yeah. The old one two punch. Disgusting. Go get you some food, Cure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. De sweatify. I was the key one that had that the DJ key for that. Mm. <laughs> it's an equipment drone. Don't suppose the executive card is very effective on a drone, though. <laughs> oh, I forgot we had executive cards, so I just. We do. Uh, someone else wasted that try shop terminal. I don't, I don't know <laughs> Two people was. said it at the beginning of the round, too. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> don't Our don't executive to card is dead, though. In, in my defense, I my, don't think it I, I also, English. I also have an executive card. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Which I, which I also dead. did say twice. She said it at the beginning, and she just said it a moment ago. I'm dead. Well, I haven't opened any try shops, so it's fine. <laughs> That's true. You are you are innocent. You just you're just Tell rushing to defend the misogyny man who just ignored women. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> First we're homophobic, then we're transphobic <laughs> and racist. Now we're misogynists. We're hitting the bingos tonight. I mean, it's not a. Is it a Twitch stream without a little bit of all of those things? Like, <laughs> you know. You know? Lordy. That is an interesting question. Like, we just need to get some League of Legends on here, and then just be like, so I, oh, I, no. just, was, I just was heated. Right. <laughs> you see, it's this not, person... It's this not person who I am as a person. <laughs> yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not who I am as a person, but you have to understand, the person on my team died once. So, if I didn't mm. use those words, how would they know that I don't like that they died that one time? <laughs> Because I think they should not have died. Uh, I, I, I mean, I understand. Gamer words is what they're called, right? Yeah, exactly. Yo. Just, you just have a heated gamer moment and accidentally, uh, you know. Uh, existence is suffering. Is that true, Stormy? I heard, that's, I heard that's an Italian joke or two. That's true, they but were. I... I I am, I am Italian, so I can make those jokes. My family is very, very Italian. But you'd think I'd do better at doing that accent, but the real thing <laughs> is I just can't do accents. <laughs> but. 
You You're like an albino, but you without accents. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> there it is. I, I think we should summon the teleporter. Sounds good. Wow. I like that. Med kit. More like, thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. Stop pretending like you can't hear what he's saying, Azure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's offensive to him. Can't, yeah, you can't hear women, you can't hear bisexuals, or like anyone you can hear. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I need an adult. <laughs> it's the unfortunate reality that we're all adults here, isn't it? Oh, God. It's such mm -hmm. a shame, too. <laughs> Sometimes I even pay my rent on time. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> and as I just pull the Star Wars, like, quote, when someone says you are an adult, I'm like, just because I'm part of the council doesn't mean I'm, you know, a part of it. <laughs> Ucathonic streams open in this economy. We can't afford that kind of bandwidth. Uh, there are, there's two items here you should pick up that were under a beetle, beetle guard corpse. Beetle. Big, big bad beetle borgs. Beetle booties? Um, Boobies? Can we just say... talk talk about this where the beetles don't have have breasts; they just have chest shapes. Yeah, but didn't we also say that aren't boobs just chest shapes? That's probably true. Full circle. We had that conversation twice now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there there are two drones over here. Oh. Uh... Oh. Good thing uh, I just threw a bunch of my money at a chance try. You still have as one, far two, three, four. shapes go, though, it's top tier. I mean, I personally prefer chest spikes, but, you know, it's... They're probably, like, a close third. Or second. I, I tend to agree with Jer. Uh, second would probably be more chest spikes. Oh. Uh, yeah. Is that a secret like, hidden chance, Sean? Seeker what? Right there, in front of you. Yeah. You thought oh, yes. you could hide from me? Equipment hey. drone. I don't think the equipment drone can do anything with an executive card, oh, though, right? Um, ah, shoot. Okay. Uh, there was an incinerator drone, though, so I got that. Oh, yeah. skibbity bot. Was there well, not an can... equipment? Yeah, there is. There's. We can give it this primordial cube, but you'll have to come over here blame. to grab it, and then... Sure. Uh... Yeah. Oh no. Beetleborgs back in the day. Beach tubs are crazy pricey. I've never even heard of it. Beetleborgs? Beetleborgs. Oh yeah, I definitely remember that. I don't think I ever really watched it, but I was aware of it. Like, sure. It's like a weird Power Rangers thing, but instead mm -hmm. of like, suits of armor, being human shaped, uh, beetle shaped. It's pretty cool. Uh, honestly, not unlike Giver, but more child mm. appropriate, I think. So okay. not nearly I, as fun. Right? No, yeah. no. I mean, obviously, Giver is the the top, the supreme. The supreme pizza. Mm -hmm. God, <sighs> well, how good right is now. supreme pizza? Like so good, right? 
Let's get pizza, you guys. Like when you eat a supreme pizza, it's no, like, actually, oh, it's I can't like, get it. Do they not have supreme pizzas? And in... no, if you guys get it, I can't. Uh... I mean, we could mail it. Sorry, to that you. joke must have reached the international punchline. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we can. Well, there advance. is another multi shop here, but I got a volcanic egg instead of a an executive card because somebody. I think has the executive card now. It's true. Somebody <laughs> does. <laughs> can we take the blue portal? Uh, yeah. We can, but we will not. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But only Could because we? you. No, asked I just them. I have to I have to be yeah. and take the bins down. So I'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, it's a cleansing shrine. I know. There's actually like uh, three. Uh, this level is supposed to have a higher spawn rate than other levels, like, apparently. What does it? What does the shrine do again? It just removes a, a blue item, and gives you a ready for a portal. A different blue item. Uh, uh, it converts it into a yellow item, I think. Oh, uh, um, honey, upward Jerez is a equipment. It's the wood sprite. That's fine. I'm I'm already at the portal. Are we yeah, ready to hit the portal? It. Yeah. Thank you, though. Honestly, I Thank like you. the. Uh, volcano thing with captain because he doesn't go anywhere yeah that's true i guess huh it is kind of weird i'm i'm usually not crazy about it but i guess it could be nice on him okay i have all of seven uh items so i need something it's two transcendents huh Ooh, regular stormy is teaching us all about saban shows Cool. Power Rangers was very kaiju, Beetleborgs went more monster, Goosebumps heavy, and VR Troopers was the computered out sci-fi version. Interesting. All sounds neat. Oh, I really want this, but I can't. I don't have the items. Rip. Now, who remembers the new adventures of Johnny Quest where they would go into, like, VR land? Does anyone mm. else but me remember that show? I don't remember it. I don't either. It was, it was just Johnny Quest, but in the 90s. <laughs> and it had VR, and they would, like, log into the internet and go in virtual reality and fight, like, a Dr. Robotnik or something. I don't remember who the bad guy was. Um, Stormy I says, to... I have a new Adventures of Johnny Quest story. Ooh. You ready? Yeah. Did Azure go AFK? I think I think he did. Okay. Okay. We should probably wait for him then. Yes. All the timer has stopped. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna finish out the timer tonight simply because it's already really late. Oh yeah, it is already really late. Yeah, but that's great. That just means some stream tomorrow. Mhm. Mm and I already added the hour that Hypno added, right? Pretty sure. I think so. Yeah, I think I remember you doing that. I uh, just haven't added the five minutes from the follow. And the clip. Yeah, so ten minutes. And if anybody else wants to make some fun clips or get somebody to follow, add a little bit more time. Getting right down to the end. If anyone Give wants to add uh, 36 subs, we can do a makeup on stream. That too. Mm -hmm. I will uh, give my students extra credit if they come and follow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome Hello. back. Did I miss anything? Uh, we were telling a lot of really good funny jokes that you missed. Mm -hmm. Dang it.
when I'm ready. Okay. I don't know, Druciform, but is the late bread, is it a sourdough? <laughs> I don't like this label. Me neither. It's kind of too a... goopy. Yeah, it's what's a wrong with, What's wrong cup? with goop? You never stared it's, at it's some goop and been like, this, that's some good goop. I'd put my <laughs> finger in that just to see how it feels. No, I like home source goop only. <laughs> I do no damage. I'm gonna die, I'm sure. Oh god. Safer spaces, anyone? What is all these... Fucking! Oh my word! Yeah, I'm totally gonna die. I think There's too many things on me. Every monster and its brother in the tri-state area. This fucking equipment drone with the primordial cube is just doing really well. Mm -hmm. Equipment drones are great. Mm -hmm. Unless you like give them the scan, then I feel like they don't use it on cooldown. Yeah, it does feel like that. Because I think they only rock when there's an enemy. Yeah. And it's like you just you just want them to be mashing that that Q button. Yeah. Ne never not scanning. ABC. Always be scanning. Exactly. Yep. Very There's another simple. equipment drone. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of, it's a radar scanner. Oh my god. Um, I'll take a saver spaces. Don't get me up, no! Oh cool, I love squid polyps. What are you, a proctologist? executive curve. There is a, um, fry shop there. You want me to buy it? Whoever has mom's or dad's credit card, definitely. There's another one. There are uh, enemies on this level, right? Mm hmm. They're all hovering around me, I think. Because I'm not at full health. What the fuck is. Oh. What the... what Two the... Larva. I guess I'll take this. Oh my god, Stormy, that is the craziest. Oh no, what a story. You want the band? Yeah. Okay. I, I picked up a uh, cash. And then that motherfucker started trying to murder me before I could pick it up. Uh... He was like, no, that's my cash, I left it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, we have a scanner here. Anyone want it? 
Is it a or should we drone? try and get four credit cards? I might swap oh. out my credit card. For the scanner. That is a pretty fantastic Johnny Quest reboot. Yep. So was it was it just Johnny Quest two thousand? Is that the name of the show or three thousand? That sounds like the name of a show that would come out around the year two thousand. You have five penny rolls. You can't prove that. <laughs> you've been like, you've been collecting every tin can you find and handing it in. Uh -huh. Look. Someone's look. How else am I gonna pay for all this credit card usage? Okay. <laughs> how else am I gonna tip rude waiters? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I put a roll of pennies on the table, and every time they pass <laughs> off, I take away one penny. Um, oh God. <laughs> oh, what a way to live. All right. Your, Do your fifty cent tip has turned into forty nine cents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they just get ruder. <laughs> can can I have that? Yeah. Thank you. Can. A Jaslyn 3D printer. I love Jaslyn. It's a drone over here. Uh, okay. Another equipment drone. There's so much loose equipment, we might as well put it on there. Mm -hmm. Hey, we don't shame loose equipment. We love I loose do. equipment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I shame it's a lifestyle it. choice. It's the dissolution of the nuclear family with the, all this <laughs> loose equipment. <laughs> this is what Ronald Reagan tried to warn us about. Yeah, I, I never I, heard I, about I like the nuclear family until like Fallout and stuff like that. Because I guess it was a very American thing. Well, no, the nuclear family in Fallout was because they were, like, literally radioactive. <laughs> I know, I know, but, like, that's the first time I heard the saying. Uh, oh. I didn't realize it was, like, an actual thing because, yeah. you know, New Zealand are badasses that, like, ban nuclear stuff. Indeed. Well, after 2000, we the year pulled 2000, up our bootstraps. The the nuclear family instead of the nuclear. So maybe that's why. Is that like aluminium and aluminum? Uh, kinda, except one's where... One's wrong. Yeah, oh. one's, one, yeah one is wrong. <laughs> uh, and then the other one is nuclear and, and nuclear, you know? Like, <laughs> like, like, you know, you look at, you look at alu aluminum and you're like, how do people spell this, say this like aluminium, you know? It doesn't even have all those eyes in it. Is it spelt differently? Nah, there, nah, there is I've... literally a spelling of each version of aluminum. Nah, 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 yeah. nah. I've but seen the dictionary. I'm pretty sure the British one is the one that uses the element or something like that. There's some, no, there's some reason for it. because it was found by the Illuminati. Hmm. Oh. You know, that makes, that makes a, 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 a kind of sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the portal, by the way? We all learned something too. I have not seen it. Yeah, I... Oh, wait. It's the over ground? here. It's over here. Hang on. Oh, I just remember I have a scanner. That's yeah, right here. And gasoline. I also can't find the note holder, so... Color me right. sad. Um... Someone should give this Gobo Jr. to the equipment drum. So it can spawn. <laughs> Double equipment drum? Yeah. Do they, do, they, do they also spawn equipment? Uh, I honestly... I don't... I don't know, because I know I the, the Gobo clone gets all of the items you have, but I don't know if it gets the equipment. Alright, like, done. And just doesn't use it, or what? I'm not... We have equipment drone with... Alright, Catholic, evacuate dirty. the area. I'm hoping for a slam dunk. Ooh, oh. good, good placement. Oh. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It missed! Aww. <laughs> Just sidestepped it. 
Oh, I like the sheet construct. Look at it. Plus, it just dies to gasoline, because it's like, why'd I put all of these things the on me? Yeah. It's like, I'm gonna spawn these turrets, and you're like, okay, I one-shot all of those, and it's like, oh my god. Why am I on fire? Only an orbital uh, help again, so... Wait, what's this... What's this... What's this green circle here? <laughs> Is this safe? It's the go zone. Oh, I love the go zone. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the goo zone. I'm oh, sorry now it's, about Oh, now it's mess. corrupted? You actually died. Yeah, I wanted to see if it would kill me, and it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, I just... You could have asked. Well, yeah, but I needed to know. I we need your know. poison for these guys. Jerry's a scientist, you see. Yeah. Goober? And... <laughs> no, he is yeah. also a goober. I, I am not the gobo. The gobo is in one of the equipment drones. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I don't like true. this character anymore. Jerry is a bit of a character. Jerry is a person. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. No! Do I die with honor? It's all because of Jerry. It's true. It, oh, honestly. No. <laughs> so I think the uh, the cloning of the equipment drone is nice for the captain, just I'm just dead. for appearances, right? I'm dead. Yeah. It's all up to dread. I assume you have to shout it because it's in capitals. Yes, you do. Thank okay. you. Whoa! Don't do that. Honestly, your sister's right, if you could, pretty if you could creative. Something, Swarmy. If you could change something in the world to cause as much disruption as possible, what would it be? Like people suddenly wake up with six fingers or something like that. Uh, uh, random gravity. That would disrupt. See, mine would be... When you look at someone, if there's a tick above their head that only you can see, it means they've thought about you in the moment of climax. <laughs> <laughs> it would make the first day at work really awkward. Or... less awkward. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, he's into me. I do yeah. I do want to say that somebody already did that, and it's called capitalism. <laughs> oh, no. That is a very disruptive thing to That's, have done yeah. to the world, isn't it? It's so called was, the Electoral College. I was just going to say, make it so that everywhere it's aluminium, you know? <laughs> like, just but it so, is. So oh, I know, I know the biggest disrupt. Make everywhere the metric system. <laughs> well, that would be nice. That, I mean, I'm that would imperial. only disrupt that like three okay, countries. Imperial would be, yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. Imperial would be bad. Yeah, we don't. I. That's yeah. We don't want that. <laughs> all all the fucking planes just fall out of the sky because they're all done in metric right now. <laughs> How am I the only one that has survived? This is bananas. When when does this happen? No, this happen? is the contract, not a banana. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure it's not a banana? Do you need to do you need to up your prescription? My prescription for bananas, yes. But I see cure for that, so I think uh, usually oh I'm I'm covered. Wow, oh, good. I can you get can be really very invisible. Oh, every time it's like. <laughs> Awesome. You get four pieces of loot. Have I'm kits. so excited. I, yeah, I, I hate really stealth kit. It's so bad. Why is it? In I the like game? stealth kit. I hate personal shield generator. What? Because oh. because if because if you're at a hundred <laughs> HP and you get one hit, uh, there is a one hit, uh, an anti one hit system which puts you at one HP. But with personal shield generator, that gets bypassed and you do get one hit. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's weird. Kill the yeah. eggs! Yeah. So I think we have identified, like, two or three items that could just be removed from the game entirely. Hmm? That's so yeah. weird. Why does... Why is it just if it would kill shields? It... Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just from... I just watched, like... I went through a moment where I watched a lot of, like, streamers play this. 
and they would always hate the shield generator. They'd only pick it up if there was a scrapper on the level. Mm, that's crazy. Is that is that that way with all of the? Uh, no, shield just personal items? shield generator. Weird. My dad's back with dinner. It's delicious. Ooh. Is it pizza? No. It's Hi, Dad. More, it's, it's more kiwi. <laughs> like the bird? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the bird. That's <laughs> fucked up. I'd eat a kiwi, though, honestly. Like... Oh, no. They're endangered. That's illegal. Uh, not in America, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't have any. Listen, yeah, New Zealand has that already is true. eaten. New Zealand has already eaten a bird to extinction. Was it my cock? <laughs> Hello, are you cockler? I mean, I guess do it depends need, on who do you, you need ask. That, do you need that much coveted um, operation? The added dick to me. <laughs> 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 Oh. But no, there was the bird called the moa, which is like a... Oh yeah, moa, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you said it wrong. It's the moa. Gosh. Isn't that that, have like, you not, big Have you not said it with the, with the, with the Maldi accent? It's like that big-ass terror think, bird thing, right? Sorry. But yeah, it's like if chocobos were real and feral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that 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 was that was doing God's work. That thing was <laughs> honestly. That, like, that should not have ever been alive. Oh wait, not no. opinion. Yeah, like, I wish they I, were real still. Same. Like yeah, that was that was that was God calling it an audible right there. He's like, whoops, missed this thing. Platypus, though, that can stay. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's 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 it it's one of like three monotremes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing they can bake is own cake. They can they can bake their own cake. Well, because they have eggs and milk. Oh. Now I get it. Speaking of the worst item in the game. Did you all pick up your legendary? Mm hmm. Did you get a pack lunch? This is fun, you guys. Oh, do I? No, that was last. No. I found the teleporter. There's a lot of drones scattered about. Oh. Another equipment drone, too. Oh. So is the Moa Moa, like, completely, absolutely extinct? Like, do we not even have, like, DNA for it? Or is it only, like, partially extinct? Take it for the hydrate, Gar. I'm hydrating right now. Oh yeah, yep, it's yep. Gino. It's genome is mostly sequenced, apparently. Ooh. So it'll be fine. The the main character from Jojo's. Huh? I I I don't know what anime is. Oh. Yeah, I've never 
never watched an anime, not even once, just like a joke. <laughs> That's fair. I've never seen the outside of a cop car, only the inside. <laughs> Did you just, like, close your eyes until they put you in there? No, it's just naturally occurring. Oh. Why did I come up here? I don't want this. But have you considered that you want that? Yeah. Oh. I think you do want it. You want it? You want it? Yeah. It Killer is tempting. Huts. Who put that in the equipment drone? It'll be critting nothing 100% yeah. of the time. It'll crit its pants. <laughs> oh <my> Good. <God. laughs> I think we're ready for the boss. What do you think? Yeah. Is there like a is there, is there a gambling shrine anywhere? Uh, I haven't seen one. I don't think. Oh, is that a lava? It's a lava worm. Oh no. Or nor. Oh wow, it's like dead already. Yeah, I, I found it first. I'm gonna, you, gave I'm gonna... it the, you gave him the fuck him up a cup. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, that's not fun. Oh! Wait. Come on, come on. It, come on. I have three Diablos coming from the sky. You just have to push them into a wall and they'll instantly die. It just is easier said than done. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Wow. Sorry, did you did you see me slammed with three thunderbolts from a guard? <laughs> I think we all saw that. We did. We did see it. Does anyone want the loot? Brother. I crave the loot. And you may have the loot. <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I will, then I will, I will take the loot. You were gonna take it anyway, we know. I do like the loot. I just love getting to low health and then fucking nutting instantly and killing the whole map. But what about in game? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, Jackie, I think you about got all of them, though. I think that's... I think you, I think you covered them. Yeah, we're three for three. Yeah, I've never... Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh is. I've never... Not even once. Not even... Not even on a dare. I got dared once to anime, and I was like, no, I believe in Jesus. <laughs> think we're ready? Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, well, that's it. I've made our decision. The only the only anime I ever watched was Veggie Tales. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I'm back. Gundam style. Where could I see BM? We're going to know where everything is so often. <laughs> oh, here we have three credit cards and a radar scanner. <laughs> We're ready.
Ooh, redeemed Ask Wonderland. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, regular Stormy says Red Queen versus Wicked Witch of the West. Who wins? Okay, important question, um, you guys. So the the royalty from Wonderland and Looking Glass get confused a lot. Uh, Wonderland is the Queen of Hearts, who is also red in in her card color. Um, but that is the the royalty in Wonderland. Um, and uh, the red and white queens are in Looking Glass. They are chess pieces. So uh, clarification: Do you mean the red chess piece queen? Or the Queen of Hearts from Wonderland, because they are definitely different, and I will have an answer. Good, good question. Queen of Hearts. Okay, Queen of Hearts versus the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay, who wins? All right. So, so I, I guess yes. I, I then have a follow-up question: Is that the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz, or the Wicked Witch of the Wild Wild West with Will Smith? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> uh, are we? Uh, I think we're ready to go, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Unless Azure needs more time. No, I think we're ready. It looks like we're ready. A wicked Witch of the West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> there are so many things. <laughs> the map is positively lit up with stuff. All right, so I, I guess we are talking like, like a duel, right? Like, like fighting each other to the death, kind of verses. Oh, the wicked witch of the waste. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Another excellent option. I don't know if there's a legendary chest on this map. Uh, sometimes the it? legendary chest just spawns. Okay, so a duel to the death. Um, this is this is an interesting question. I think my my first inclination is to say that the wicked witch, uh, the wicked witch wins. Oh no, I died. Oh no! Oh my word! The queen word. of hearts is a card, and uh, royalty. And something you may or may not know is that nobody ever actually gets beheaded in Wonderland. So all of the off with their head is uh, that is just we're making fun of royalty um, and their insistence of this or that or the other thing. Um, but the Griffin reports that, uh, in fact, nobody is ever beheaded. It's all the Queen's fancy and the King pardons everybody before there's ever any execution. Um, so death is actually not something that, as I understand it, that uh, happens a lot with relation to the, the Queen of Hearts, uh, you know, sentencing anybody to death or anything. And I think on her own, she doesn't really have very much power. She has social power as a, as a monarch, right? Um, clout, as it were. But I don't think that there's too much that she could do to an actual witch. Um, that would defeat her. Also, she is literally a card, um, a playing card. Yes, so she's a card. She she really is. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah. So I I have doubts that uh, that the Queen of Hearts would uh, win in a fight against most anybody. Honestly, um, I don't think she's really uh, capable. Yeah. Yeah, if we're talking really serious business, Wicked Witch wins every time. There's a legendary item here, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. It was like going to be... Vultures. It was going to be Chthonic, but... She died! Yeah, I was too weak. We miss her so dearly. It's like we can almost hear her now. <laughs> oh. 
Pocket, um, ICBM. Anyone? I think Jer's on his way. Only <laughs> <laughs> he could speak and say. Using 100% of my brain to try to figure out how to get there. <laughs> Just immediately starts looking around to figure out where he is. <laughs> that mess flying off the screen beam. <laughs> well, I'm doing my favorite nice. build. It's it's that uh, the meme of the the car on the freeway on the exit ramp. <laughs> <laughs> to the right, the side says, "You said you want this pocket ICBM," and the left says, "Continue doing what you're doing." Oh no, I fell. Or oh, no. <laughs> Fell right through the little gap. That's a lot of uh, missiles. Free. Yeah. That's what the the mobile caffeinator does. Ca the catheter? Caffeinator. Ah, yeah. oh, mobile caffeinator. <laughs> Is that just something that can? Yes. It's a vending machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pay money and it heals you. It's like oh, a, it doesn't, like a put chest. A, doesn't put a, a rod in your pee hole. Well, it's I mean, on the move. I, I mean, it depends <laughs> on how big your pee hole is. <laughs> yeah, yeah is, mean... it, is, is it a caffeinator with an F or with a TH? I mean, can you just decipher the difference between the two? Or a caffeinator gives you caffeine and a caffeinator with a TH puts the rod up your pee hole. We've been over this. I mean... Depends on how much you're paying, because it'll do either. Uh. Yeah. If anyone sees any of fireworks, let me know. Will too. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but what did he maybe do? <laughs> <laughs> He may be dead. I fucking love that bit so much. Yet. <laughs> I just... I didn't get what you were saying until you said the bit. You just sounded normal to me, and then I realized what just happened. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Delightful. I will not take this slander line down. <laughs> oh, I am looping. Oh. I'm looping. I'm looping. Oh, that's a bummer. It re-rolled my caffeinator, and even though I was targeting the stun grenade. Oh, with three Nautilus shells, do I switch to the uh, the meteor, or do I keep on the scan? Uh -huh. I mean, is a bear shit in the woods? I don't know. <laughs> Does it? Usually. Not the ones that okay. are in a zoo. Well, yeah, but... Alright. Hellfire rains upon us all. May chaos take the world! That's for uh, anyone that's played Elden Ring. It's very kind of you to give that to us. I love you all. <laughs> I love you all so much. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for being how you are just all the time. You, you just... <laughs> Lizzie, you're amazing. Everyone says so, and it's true. No, no, no. I'm azing. That's... We... It took a second to get there, but that's... That's what we were after. <laughs> I am tired, I think. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. You're very sweet. We've been having a good time. Yeah. Is that I was what, Jackie?
Thank you, Drusiform. You're amazing. Ah! It was shooting me. Oh. I can Listen, be both, someone who's, Jackie. Someone whose head Taco Bell is sitting in front of the fan right now. Are you... Are you... <laughs> Are you admitting something to us, Azure? No, the shit's hitting the fan, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, there's Taco Bell? I want a Taco Bell. I'm sorry, but just because somebody ate Taco Bell doesn't mean that they're shitting wherever they stand. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever gotten the, 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 the poops from Taco Bell. My butt. Ah! Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Would you make up your mind, please? I had an empty <laughs> bottle. Well, I had a bottle that's now empty. But it had my edging juice in it. Your I mean edging juice? I mean a mm -hmm. potion. Oh no, oh. I almost died. No more meteors, please. I can't stop not on it. on top of me. Yeah. Right, but tell them not to, not to target me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a little friendlier, maybe. I like how we have just the collateral damage captain build. <laughs> <laughs> I love this it. Is, this is this is pretty fun. <laughs> this is like the U.S. military captain. It's, just like, it's like we're liberating you. <laughs> Same, Jackie. I've never had a bad experience to talk about like. I've never had Taco Bell. But that's the meme, right? I know, it I know it is, but I think it's sure. unfair. Like Taco Bell isn't good food, but it's not like it's not like inherently bad. The thing about Taco it's Bell is it's so bland. bland and so like gentle in every way because it's made for like a largely American audience, and Americans don't like spicy food in, on the majority. Americans be like, "Oh, this water spicy." Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. The salt is too spicy, you know? Yeah, and we are, we are from the southwest of America, so we have a lot of the, the Mexican food influence, the real, real delicious Sonoran Mexican food influence. But you, you gotta, like, it's good. you gotta give props to, uh, oh, I'm dead. You gotta give props to uh, Taco Bell, though. It's only food that looks the same going in oh, as yeah. it does coming out. Oh, yeah. They, they, are, um, they are masters of... Making what they make. You've just, you must not have seen anything food that I make, because most of the food I make looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just cook everything in the same pan, so it's inevitable. Oh, there's a caffeinator in that machine. <laughs> Alright, I have like five items. I'm definitely gonna die. Uh, I've never been on this map before. Oh, this is the oh, we took the, the new portal? gold one. Okay. I've I haven't done this in a long time, and this looks very different. These meteors well, are killing me. I talk about these meteors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna die from those. I'm sorry. Are you? A little bit. <laughs> it's easy to be sorry about something that was easily avoidable. Ooh. Yeah, the meteors are easily avoidable. <laughs> oh, 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 Shazoom! Oh boy, the sass never ends. Mm -hmm. Not with my movement speed. Aurelianite! No, I can't call down my hammers here! Oh yeah, I guess this is technically the void. We are men with lasers today. Minly men. Men and tights. <laughs> I'm dead. No. Hypno, we enjoy you being here, watching. Hey, Hypno. Time. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. We'd love to have fun for you, Hypno. <laughs> Would that we could not all die? Where's the item? Uh, it's over oh, by you the got portal. It. 
Well, you got one it? drop, yeah, one drop for each of us. Oh, uh, it's all been on one person. It, it checks the whole groups. Oh, does it? Yeah. That and Lepton Daisy get summed across all players. Oh. At least according well, to the wiki. Well, I still don't want it. Well, then I will pick it up. For I want things. <laughs> it for is I my am punishment. An, for I am an American. I want things and therefore deserve them. In Solace for killing Cathonic, I too will have no item. Oh, a mountain shrine. You don't have a key? Oh, the meteors are starting, guys. <laughs> oh, I love the little the little probe thing that the captain does on this little gunner. So cute. I do love a little probe. I need oh, that the you. All right, I've changed the credit card, so I'll stop um killing us. <laughs> oh, but I like the meteors. It made everything. It, it was like it's like a challenge run, you know. <laughs> it's Extra like, hard mode. It's like yeah, the oops, oh, the pizza balls. Uh, for, this like, isn't a goddamn dip. I don't like kill your friend stream. Come on. <laughs> it's a scrapper. I mean, if you see a gambling shrine. Mm. I just I just cleared one out a second ago. I know, but I've taken the hacking ones so that they're, they're mm -hmm. free. Well, thankfully for me, oh, I thought that was a Herman. I now have a healing drone. Maybe that'll help. Thankfully, on that uh, chant shrine though, I got lucky and it was just the first two hits. So. Damn. As in a good damn, not a bad damn. A lucky dam. Yeah, like a Hoover dam. dam. A good dam. A strong dam. A powerful dam. Are you flirting with the dam? <laughs> Bro, I'm back on my scanner bullshit. If anyone sees any fuel cells, let me know. Good night, Stormy. Thanks for partying with Nighty me. Nighty night, Stormy. Love you, friend. Thanks for keeping us company. Yeah. God. Yes, my child. Whoa. These fucking wisps just love to murder me to death. I need something. I got. N I got like no items. Hey, you have the you have the uh, fireworks, right? Yeah. Come spam it. This build is why cavemen painted on walls. <laughs> what did they paint? Fireworks. Oh. Yeah. But it was like a, you know, a caveman's understanding, so it was just like a dick with a bunch of cum coming out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Was that, was that what the cavemen said the first time they cooked something? Fireworks. <laughs> ha! That's that is that is a very funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope you appreciate how funny you are. It's that is high praise coming from Jer, just so you know. 
That is really high praise. Whether it's intentional or not, you are flirting with Jer. This is Jer's that love is language. That's, oh my, that's true. Oh <laughs> you are who has, very who has close a key, to marriage at this point. Oh. Do I have key? I do not have key. Fireworks? Oh. Uh, it's core to my build. Core? Oh. Core? I'm a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? How could this happen to me? Jackie, don't worry. The flirting has only just begun. It never really stops either. It's true. Oh, I'm I'm just down bad for the universe. I think we have the map completely picked over. Yeah, I think so. Also, Jack, you're always included in the flirting. It's true. I'll flirt with you if you want. The portals spawn inside of the tunnel, even though the tunnel's not open. Look at that blue portal. That's weird. <clears throat> Run, because all that hellfire is raining down. I can see the ring. Oh, my word. What do you oh. think? Do you think just because uh, I can't dodge a meteor that I can't dodge one of these? I just in case you didn't say it. No. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. I squished the bugs. I'm happy. <laughs> nice. We need to kill the invisible guys. There you are. Yeah, there's a lot of Malachite enemies. What? It locked my soda machine. That's fucked up. <laughs> Even though it could do that. <laughs> oh, guys, there's, um... No? That's a lot of Old War stealth kits. <laughs> You'll be stealth for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> go to half health, you were invisible for the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna take all of them. Game. Does anyone mind if I take all of them? <laughs> take all of them, please. Take all of them. Hell There's yeah. some some upstairs too. There. I can use them to trade at green shrines as well. When I keep dying. Is there a scrap on this floor? Uh, I don't. Yeah, there's a scrapper. Does anyone want elemental? Because there's an elemental right here. A what? What are you talking about? This use item here makes all of your elemental ice. Ooh. Interesting. Mm. 
Is that good for me? I don't even know if that is. Time to find a scrapper. Scrapper's over here. I'm headed that way. I'm totally with you, Jackie. In fact, there is a reason my avatar character is a succubus. Flirting is fun. It's fun to flirt with people. Hooray. It's nice. Oh, I hit the... Good way to I, be social. I hit the maximum Y level. <laughs> Tony loves to do that. Yeah. It's like one of my top three favorite things to do in this game. <laughs> the other one is to get really high on soda and summon a bunch of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do both this game. Uh, the max you could... Can you... Is the max scrap you can carry 10? Or is it the max number of items at a time you can scrap is 10? I don't know. It only scrapped 10 of my old shelf kits of 12. Hmm. Looks like it only does 10 at once. Hmm. Okay, I'm all done scrapping. I have 14 green scrap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's mosey on out of here. Hmm. I I like the sound of those, Jackie. Very cute. All right, if anyone finds a good 3D green 3D printer, let me know. Mm -hmm. No such thing. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who hurt you? I don't. I was either loved too little or too much. <laughs> We're not really sure. Nature versus nurture. Exactly. There's nature, there's the nurture, I up. and I had further. <laughs> I had a distant, distant family. Like they live far away? Yeah, from another dimension, you know? As far away as possible. Alright, True. Have a wonderful night. Thank Good you night, so much for partying with us. Yeah, thanks for Good stopping night. in. Love you, friend. Hope you sleep well. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Hang on, Bia, Bia, come here. Oh, I'm oh. dead, I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> Must get to his body. <laughs> Must teabag. Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Commemoratively. You'll never find me. I died in the deepest annals. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, uh you you also have a green or a executive card? Mm-hmm. Oh, a poly loot. Wow. And for free. I sure hope someone didn't sack half their HP and then die from the consequences. I actually got a tougher times proc on it. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So, I just got one shot by the big men with the stone hands and the face lasers. Uh, and oh. Ooh, an Aegis. I'd be wanting one of them for ages. 
Aha! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. The Royal Capacitor? Mm. Man, imagine summoning Ooh, fireworks and only summoning like four at a time. Uh, it's cringe, honestly. Pitiful. Yeah. Oh. It's almost disgusting, actually. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Words hurt. That's true, we should just stop using them. Mm -hmm. Alright, yup. You fucking. <laughs> you walking flashlight. What did you say it's about my mom? Walking Tenga egg, aren't they? Are they flashlights? No, get back in here, you! I don't know, I feel like fleshlights are sort of usually in a flashlight type of shape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the name is all about. I, oh, I, yeah, I, I take gonna them out them, though. I'm gonna call them Now tiger. I get it. I mean, you take them out and they're know, literally still, still fleshlight shaped. Yeah. <laughs> still fleshlight shaped. I, Asher, I think you need to uh, expand your, your sex toy knowledge. Your repertoire. I don't own any. <laughs> well. <laughs> Maybe you should! You could still look at pictures online. I promise oh. you they look more like a Tenga egg than a Fleshlight. And it's the same thing. Oh, I know the one you're on about now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. See? I'm a professional sex toy knower about her. That's true. Uh, for short, it's called Sex Toy Annoyer. <laughs> Wait, these... Okay. these... Okay. <laughs> these, these Kinder egg looking things or sex toys? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh man, they have they have Sneaky. they have great names too. There's there's Wavy and Spider and Clicker and Twister and Stepper and Shiny and what about Stepford? Thunder and Crater. <laughs> no, there's Surfer. It's Street. <laughs> I like that. It's not a very popular one. People don't really like the asphalt texture. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but for those niche fetishists, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. there's a little, there's a little something out there for everyone. Yeah, most most people find it a little too abrasive. I had this conversation with a other group of friends the other day, but. It was, uh, it's more of a confession, but like, the first time I explored was in the shower, and I didn't have any lube, so I used shampoo. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that was my reaction. Oh no. So, never again. I'm so sorry, Azure. Oh, never soap. Never soap. That's not what it's for. Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't deserve that. I mean, <laughs> at, at least you didn't use shampoo, oh! I guess, right? Oh! <laughs> like, Got him. that would be worse. Mm hmm. That's true. I mean, also, <laughs> the first time Young Azul didn't know about grip. <laughs> So if I had to compare it to a movie, it would be Charlie and the Trolloc Factory. Oh no! A lot of capitalism, is that what we're saying? Yeah. Millions of Uncaring dead. capitalism. Anyway. <laughs> I have no. <laughs> I could go I a good step to, further. Good to have you back. <laughs> I could go a step further. Oh? And tell you what I used. You could. It was a a bottle opener, which was the other end was a large metal penis. You know, sensible. I can see why that would be the choice that you made. Middle doesn't give a lot, or at all. Indeed. It wouldn't, in my professional opinion, it wouldn't be my first recommendation 
but you know, when <laughs> when you only have what you have available, people are going to do what they're going to do, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've used worse. That's that's whatever. Should we start the boss? Yes. We should. You know, anything to stop this conversation because now I feel awkward. <laughs> it's a real shame that the person with all of the missiles died and couldn't hit the boss spawner to kill all the bosses with missiles. Hey. <laughs> and that it's a real shame. That's, that sounds directed at me. <laughs> no. Uh, is, are you who I was talking about? I don't know. Well, then, how do you know if it was directed at you? That's fair. I guess I don't. <laughs> so I will just assume you were talking about someone else. Surely there's someone else with all of the missiles. Yeah, it's me. I have. I don't have missiles. I have fireworks. Okay. I just tried to bring the world joy. <laughs> Baby, you're a firework. I was like, my what, favorite what, holiday what, what, what? is July Fourth. Because I'm a loser and have a terrible taste in holidays. <laughs> I got because I have no personality, so I base it all on my country. Mm -hmm. China, and, apparently. An alternate idea as well. If you want to celebrate uh, the 4th of July, if you want to celebrate on that day, that is Alice Day. Because apparently, historically, that is the day when the, the infamous story was first told on the mm. boat. So there you go. 4th of July. Alice Day. Done. Easy peasy. That's obviously good enough for me. I'm definitely dead. No, choose life. I just don't do any damage. <sighs> I mean, we're... I wish I had my meteors. We are, uh... Basically, we are going through too slowly is the reason why we're having all these problems. We are talking more about <laughs> lubricants than... than loot... We use the lubricants. lubricants and not some lubricants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please laugh, I'm proud of that joke. That was good, I laughed. <laughs> I don't know good. if it came through, but I did laugh. Oh my god, there's so many. Apparently, with like the debug menu, you can make it so that you can play as the Wandering Vagrant because the Wandering Vagrant is pl programmed as a player character. Oh <laughs> god! You just got your your you got shampooed. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Now we've we've all been there. I uh one time <clears throat> uh was like oh. This clearly is the perfect size, and used like a bottle, and uh, it was not the perfect size. It was far too small. We have and... all learned this lesson. <laughs> yep, and it's like, <laughs> oh no, I can't get this out now. Which of course if it doesn't that... have a base and gone without a trace. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I tell you the uh, the number of idiots I had to talk to on the fucking phone at the porn shop, where you know the level of like trying to be like polite and courteous and professional, and also um, trying to sort of determine who is making a prank call, trying to waste my time. Because mm -hmm. I tell you, I wish, I wish we got more prank calls that were like actually interesting and like someone trying to have fun at the porn shop. Right. Because I feel like the only times when I got prank calls, um, it was like somebody trying to like jerk off in in a way that was like really boring. Like I we had a, a fella who repeatedly called and asked how to use a flashlight in detail, and he used to call me babe on the phone. Oh. And at a certain point, it's also like, okay, well, does he just have like a humiliation fetish, and he wants somebody to like be like, hey, shut the fuck up, please stop calling me. You are really wasting my time, and I don't want to talk to you. This is a business, you know, because that's all that I would say to him, yeah. <laughs> and it was just absolutely in fucking sufferable. But the number of people I had to talk to on the phone who talked about like, oh, I could just use soap as lube or whatever, and it's like I, 
Like, are you serious? Or like, are you calling a porn shop to try to make a weird prank? Like, it's so hard to tell. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, my uh, a friend of mine is an ER doctor, mm -hmm. and the vast, at least according to him, most of the time people are in there because something is up their ass. And it's like, I feel like it can't be most of the time. It can't, but not surely it, is like, it can't. At the very least, it is like a more than once a day occurrence. Um, and he says he can always tell because uh, they'll like have been in the waiting room for like two hours and he'll get in there and they'll just be standing. <laughs> 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 and and uh, he'll just be like, so what brings you in here today? And they're just like, oh, uh. Uh, yeah, nothing. H how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, please. maybe that's just what he deals with because that's his specialty. That's true. That's true. Is he <laughs> the ER butt doctor? Because that would make sense. All right, Lizzie, I have a, I have a hypothetical for you. Mm. So you were working at the sex shop. I was. And, and you that's can true. tell me, tell me if this would work. If like okay. I would, if, if I walked up and put like a strap on on the counter and asked if you offered trials would that be a good pickup line <laughs> that is hilarious that that is way way better than most of the time <laughs> i i see that's appreciated right that's that's humor that's comedy that's that's funny it's cheeky and it's fun nobody ever like, had but like what if i was serious uh, well, I mean, in a, in a serious sense, for me, me personally, I would say, well, that's that's very uh, clever of you, but professionally, I I am not really, uh, you know, like allowed to like date a customer, right? Um, but in terms of like from a person to person, that's I think that's funny. Also, okay. also, my coworker, <laughs> my coworker, um, was definitely. Uh, you know, worked worked at the place with the glory holes in part because he enjoyed the use of a glory hole from time to time, and he did actually have a number of uh, hookups with people, <laughs> which which he characterized as um, what did he call them? Um, penetrative product demonstrations. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where <laughs> because he had a huge collection personally of the stuff that we tended to sell at this shop because he had worked there. His entire adult life, like literally from the night he turned 18 on midnight, he <laughs> flied at that shop and he had been working there until this day um, in his 30s. And so he had like a huge collection of stuff that we sold at that shop. Um, and he did in fact <laughs> demonstrate the toys that were on the shelves for a couple of people, obviously in a personal, non-professional respect, but, uh, but still, yeah, yeah. So, I might die, these spitters. It has happened. <laughs> oh, hello. Have you bought this as the captain? Uh, no. Not yet. That is an achievement. It's a, oh, it's really? a loadout unlock, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. shit. I would, I would love to. <laughs> well, butter and my biscuit. Let's see how much. Does that cost Don't you money? Yet. Yeah. No, beer. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I have to keep summoning new ones. Because they only have a limited number of uses. <laughs> okay, it doesn't hack it either. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. You know, got to try everything once. Yeah. Oh, there's a lava worm. Oh, I'll be sent to orbit. Oh, full damage. Oh, shit. Has anyone seen any nice green 3D printers? And they say that a hero can save us. I love you guys. <laughs> what are you, war drums? Nah. Oh dang, we missed the timer. 
Just barely. Oh, just, just yeah. fucking barely, I bet. What are we, like, two or three minutes off? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Next time. Next time for sure. That chest, though, is so fucking annoying. Yeah. Yep. Getting that was really annoying. I don't think I have ever gotten it. No, have we we've ever never... got that chest? Yeah. We've never even gotten close, I don't think. Yeah, we've we've always no, been I, way I, off. I, I'm, I feel I'm like pretty the, sure time, the time you do... the on accumulator. The, the time you do get, like, a good time, you don't get this level, and you're just like... Yeah. yeah. Hello, I'm going to become the Joker. Yeah, you basically have to take the shop, right? Yeah. I guess that's what? why they added it. Did you say why? No, I, uh, no, I just said... I don't, I don't know, actually, I don't know what I said. <laughs> I'm 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 like three hours past bedtime brain right now. Well thanks for playing with us. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So Lizzie, do you think that hypothetical would work at my local or nah? <laughs> I uh I <laughs> Generally speaking, my, my my real advice is generally speaking, one one is um, it behooves one to not flirt with a retail employee. Um, however, I can speak for everybody in every situation, and so I'm not going to say across the board that's a terrible idea. But but probably it's not going to get you many places necessarily. That said, you never know who you're going to be talking to. That was worth a shot. <laughs> worth every shot you can take. <laughs> oh, yeah. You miss the shots you don't take. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying, too, because, like, it, it's not you as take though, the like. You don't miss. It's not as though I'm, like, a humorless bitch or something and I just want to have, like, a bad time. But, like, <laughs> so frequently, like, nobody would have anything interesting to say or they would, <laughs> like, if anybody wanted to be at all flirtatious, they would be disrespectful and disgusting and creepy about it. And it's just, oh, it's so tiresome, you know? Yeah. I used to work at, um, a... Hemp and Bowling Alley. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. What is that? That is that. That's my shrimp. Hip no knows what it's about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, that sounds horrible. What the fuck? Oh, it's you. You're the one exploding. You can't prove that. Congrats <laughs> on breaking your edge. <laughs> this curse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you bought the have you bought the drone, Lizzie? Yes. Yes okay. I did. And I got the achievement. <laughs> thank you for telling me. I mean I was, I was going gonna... to buy it anyway, but thank you. Because okay. yeah, we're done. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll start the teleporter, but as soon as the word, the thought formed in my mind, the, the game had other Yeah, you should ideas you should start that. I guess uh, I guess I should. Yeah. I guess everybody's dead now. Alright now just keep using the soda machines and spawn missiles and kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is is a is a yikesy doodle here. <laughs> I used to work at the tax department, and that kind of like made me realize the worst in people mm -hmm. and the best in people. Because it would be like New Zealand's. I, I suppose you also have it in America. You have like the the farmers that live out in the literal middle of nowhere mm -hmm. that are very self sufficient, and then. They would make like ten thousand dollars a year total, and they would have a bill of like a hundred bucks, and they'd be like, "Oh my god, I will pay one dollar a week. I promise I will pay it all off." And we're like, "We can just wipe the debt. It's perfectly fine. Like that's in my power, and it wouldn't be right." And then you get the the parents who like the husband, like in this case, the husband earned like a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year, and the the wife didn't work, she was the full stay-at-home mother. 
Um, and she owed like... No, the farmers owed like 400 bucks, and then she owed 100. And she's like, I, I couldn't possibly pay that. Where am I supposed to find the money? Oh, I got zapped. And it's just like, huh? Good job, everybody. Yeah. I did no damage that whole run. Very good job. That was fun. I, I get it. I get damage? it. It kept and works. Now. Lizzie, Lizzie almost carried, but not quite. She did the most damage by far. <laughs> she did I 10 million two, damage. I think 2 million of my damage was meteors. <laughs> Tikatonic <laughs> specifically. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, and, and half of that was to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. So we'll go in again? No, it's too late. I think this might yeah, be it, guys. yeah. It's time for us. I'm, I'm turning to a pumpkin while we're playing. Tomorrow, though. Oh, it's past midnight. Yeah, yeah we've got, I've got is. a couple more hours left on the timer. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any subs or anything today, so just a couple of minutes get added for a couple of redeems yeah. and a clip. A clip and a follow. Thanks for playing with us, though. Hypno hey, gifted us up, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, thank you so much for the gift. Amazing. I, I, you guys, you all are very, very, very sweet. I just noticed that my my sub announcement has a has a typo. It it does say sea tultists. <laughs> oh, no, it sure does. <laughs> it's sea tultists. Right. Now that's your Enjoy special flair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stop copyright. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start my closing messages. Have a good night, everybody. All right, chat. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. It was been, it's been a pleasure as always. I love doing this stuff with y'all. We've got another day. We've got another short day. It'll probably be a normal day. But, uh, yeah. We're, we're 25 away from 100. I wish we could do it, but I just don't... I think everyone has already blown their load. And I totally get it. This is absolutely, by and large, farther than I ever expected to get with the gift subs. We did take a lot of loads. We did. We took so many loads. And I appreciate you all so much. Hypno, thanks thanks again for the gift sub to uh, Robo Hypno and Azure. Thanks again for the gift sub. Uh, was that two gift subs from you, Azure, today? You gave you gifted one yesterday as well. A lot of gift subs from Azure. One, thanks. Uh, was that two yesterday? I think you. I don't know. I can't remember. But yes. Thanks again, everybody. Yeah. Well, I'm. It is pumpkin time for me. So good night, everyone. Good, good night, night yeah. Pumpkin friend. Sleep well. Good night, Azure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the timer, and I will find a nice, a nice target for all the cuties to go. Two point five floats an hour, including the stream time, <laughs> off stream time. Very busy. Yeah. Oh my God, Jackie! Holy shit, Jackie! Holy shit! What are you doing? Oh God, we're five away now. <laughs> well, we got five and a half hours on the clock again. Holy shit, Jackie! Thank you so much. You are amazing. What do you? You don't gotta do all that. Uh. Holy shit. 95 subs. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. That's the biggest sub bump for sure, by far. I think. At a time, anyway. <laughs> it's up to someone else for this five. You've done enough. You've taken us this far. I appreciate it.
<laughs> Thank you. Surely, surely somebody can can gift those last five, and then we'll get an on stream makeup stream. Love you, Jackie. Thank you. Wow. Ahoy! <laughs> Okay. Uh I think hmm. I'm trying to decide a good a good place See to send all of those cuties. Does anyone have any good targets? I've got a couple, but just curious if anyone has any suggestions this late. So to go make sure I still have the sugar mommy tag on McKenna's Discord. And I, I do. <laughs> nice. It's it's deserved. Ooh. -woo. You can tag me anytime on Discord, Jackie. Ooh. -woo. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for the Ask Wonderlands. It's been really nice. It's been really nice hearing the insights that uh, that Lizzie has about it, and what y'all are interested in hearing. I think we're gonna go ahead and raid Graham Tams. He's currently follower or subscriber only, but he's a super cutie, and I think you're going to like hanging out over there. He's got a really nice, calm, collected attitude. He never he never gets heated. He's currently playing Xena Warrior Princess for PS1. So if you're into retro games, Graham Tamps is a great target for that. He's like one of the best play gamers I've ever seen. And G-A-Y gamer, absolutely. Be sure to give my love over to Graham Tamps. Oops. So a couple of sub messages you're welcome to use. Feel free to add your own uh, emotes if you like. Let's uh, let's say Chthonic Warrior Princess with some emotes. Does that sound good to everybody? <laughs> <laughs> 